Hey everyone, and welcome back to Commander Clash. This week is viewer submitted week. Uh, two weeks ago, we asked you, the viewers, to submit your decks that you'd like to see played on a future Commander Clash episode. And this week, we finally chosen four of the decks to play against each other and, and try them out. Uh, the submissions were absolutely fantastic this week in particular, I would say. Uh, over 200 submissions just on the community tab question uh, post alone, plus a lot of people emailing and DMing uh, in, uh, to Decklist uh, to me and, and, and everybody else. Um, so thank you so much for the turnout. The decks were fantastic. Uh, I really, really liked all of them, but unfortunately, we could only pick four at a time. So let's kick it off with Richard. What deck are you running and who submitted it? All right. Uh, I shed a tear this weekend going over the list. Never have I seen so many secret rendezvous and dance <laughs> daggers in lists. And I saw truly cultured people. I saw Esper lists with secret rendezvous. Whoa. And I so hard, like, I wanted to choose it. But there was just one list that was so juicy, ironically, not running secret rendezvous whatsoever. <laughs> and it's Mono Blue Bird by Critical Fish. Uh, look, they have fish in the name. I feel like we, we've <laughs> had decks from this person before. This name sounds familiar. But it's an Orvar the All Form Mono Blue Bird. And you know <laughs> I love my off-color pie decks. So uh, I had to study this list for a while to make sure I understood what it was trying to do. I may have asked our editor for some help just to make sure I understood <laughs> since it didn't have creatures turning sideways. Uh, what? <laughs> It, it's a burn deck. It's no a prodigal burn sorcerers? Deck. I will burn you out. No, that's a pinging deck, Tomer. This is oh, a right. burn deck. <laughs> oh, so I'm going to deal large chunks of direct damage hmm. to your face. Uh, to everyone's face. Or Ooh. die a horrible death. Either one. But this concept is pretty cool. So I hope I get to pull off some semblance of what this deck is trying to do. <laughs> so thanks to Critical Fish for Mono Blue Burn. <laughs> Sounds awesome. All right, Seth. What are you writing this week, and who submitted it? Ooh, so I found another really interesting one, and this one's from RTSK0929, so a super cool idea, and it's called Naya Urborg. So this is a deck that takes advantage of the fact that Urborg, Tomb of Yagmoth, uh, it's not actually a black card. It, everyone thinks of it as a black card, because it turns all your stuff into swamps, and it looks like a black card, but it's actually a colorless card. So this is a Naya deck with <laughs> Urborg kind of as the hidden commander, I guess, and it's got a bunch of cards that care about the number of swamps on the battlefield. There's some really <laughs> weird cards that I've never seen anyone play before that, uh, that just cares about your opponents having swamps, you having swamps, the total number of swamps on the battlefield so the goal is to find herborg hopefully protect herborg with a couple of enchantments that can like give a shroud or whatever and then hopefully take advantage of these just really wacky payoffs that care about how many swamps are on the battlefield so i thought it was a really neat idea i always associate herborg with like oh, i'll put it with coffers in my black deck or whatever and this is just like a really different take on what herborg can potentially do in commander i love it I, I used to run this, this little thing in my Darien deck because it would deal damage to yourself and then you make the token. So respect, respect. I'm excited to see, I'm excited to see this version of it as well. That sounds very cool. All right. Moving on. Phil, uh, what are you running this week and who submitted it? Did it, did it, who, who, so, who, yeah, I can't yeah. say the word. <laughs> you said it right the yeah. first time. Yeah. <laughs> who submitted so, it? I'm running a Nif Mizzet list that has also has Umori as a companion. So it's niv Reborn, the five color one, but it's just creatures with two colors, pretty much just. There's some exceptions. Uh, pretty much, I think all of the Legir, le 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 yeah. the, new, the new cycle that is yeah. in Double Masters as well. Uh, yes, it looks barely playable. There was one card I had to switch out because I w it wasn't on Magic Online, and I threw in a Coiling Oracle, which should have been there from the <laughs> beginning. So no, no soaring, nothing. The the list is submitted by Jimmy the Bass or the Bass. Depends if it's the fish or the instrument. Do you spell it different? <laughs> uh, it's spelled <laughs> wrong, but I don't know. Jimmy the, Probably let's say Bass. Uh, yeah, thanks for the list. I hope it works. Five color without... Mana rocks or ram spells. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> a little bit of a slow start, perhaps. Uh, 
All right, sweet. And then finally, hello, this is Tomer. I I got a lot of really great lists, and this was probably the hardest viewer submitted for me to ever choose. So just quick shout out to MTG Homero for your absurdly cool uh, suggestion. Uh, I will bring that back up next time. I also saw like a great uh, Plarg Shifting Shadow deck, Four Color Living Legends or Living Weapons. Um, yeah, there was there was a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, this week to choose from. Oops, all Soul Sorceries also gets a shout out. But I had to settle on the the one deck that was both very cool and also had almost all the cards available in, on MTGO, which was probably the biggest hurdle for a lot of these viewers submitted decks. Uh, <laughs> apologies. Uh, this is Mono White Samurai with Kentaro the Smiling Cat. Uh, it is a very cool list that I uh, got to play against one time. Uh, was super impressed by and was super excited to see when it when it showed up in viewer submissions. Um, there's going to be a lot of janky samurai, but also some really cool samurai specific combo finishers and everything uh, that I hopefully will get to navigate. I don't know because there was no primer and the primer even said in the deck description I could add a primer, but it would be funnier if you tried to figure it out yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> That's a big risk. <laughs> that is a big risk because I'm probably going to screw it up. So we'll find out together. Um, but yeah, so those are the decks for this week. But before we jump into the game, there's two things you can do to support the channel. The first way is if you want to purchase all these sweet cards that we're playing and also all the brand new cards from Double Masters and so much more, you can head on over to CardKingdom.com, use our affiliate link to purchase all the stuff you're looking to buy anyway and you're supporting our, ch our, our, our channel this way as well. And the other way is you can head on over to the NGU Goldfish merch store um, and you can purchase all the beautiful stuff that you can normally purchase, but we have a brand new play mat that we're super excited to show you. It's a limited duration. I think it's only up for one month that you can purchase it. It's gorgeous. Uh, it's showing up on screen right now. I'm so hyped to finally share with you this uh, this this play mat. And uh, yeah, I, I I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. So yeah, those are the two ways you can support the channel. Now that we've gone through all that, let's hop into the game. Bam. All right, so we all kept our starting sevens and Richard kicked things off. Uh, let's, oh, who, who lost last game? I never remember. <laughs> no one ever knows. Uh, Flash on! Flash on. <laughs> Flash on. There we go. Flash on! <laughs> Phil? All right. Sorry. Oh, oh, come oh, on. Oh, my nice. goodness. Oh, oh come on. My goodness. Oh, my goodness. Who runs such busted <laughs> fast mana? <laughs> runs the card printed in every commander deck ever. Yeah. Pass. <laughs> yeah. Oh, also, boy. I think I know why people think I got I get off two crazy starts. I've seen the deck lists that get sent to us, and some of them just play 30 lands, no mana rocks. If mm -hmm. you want a good start, <laughs> uh, play 38 lands and 12 mana rocks. Here you go. You have my starts. I always like, play, please, please. <laughs> I'm usually like a 36 and 14 these days. Yeah, just make sure the it, it's 50, 50 cards in the end. that 50 mana. mana. Yeah. Yeah, that's been my that's checklist a... for like literal years. Yeah, I mean, it's I and it's never failed your me. checklist. So yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This looks expensive, but I <laughs> here's it. Casual <laughs> Trop Island. Yeah. yeah the Trop, the Death Right. Whoa, whoa, but, whoa, uh, whoa, whoa! What are we legacy <laughs> here? What's going on? Oh what? God, this is and, all and, I'm gonna do and with this. Seth game. gave him a fetch land. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Wait, wait, oh, yes. You should have just it's held it and not cracked it. Until I'm, turn five. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking of the the most recent podcast where uh, Tomer mentioned how Richard is really good at pointing out opponents not doing that scary of things when he's actually the scary one, mm -hmm. <laughs> like with playing the turn one soul ring and then being like, oh, death right shaman. Oh no! <laughs> are, you, <laughs> are you ready for my turn one play? Let's Land see tax. the soul ring. Land tax. Devoted routine. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. One Bushido mana, limited. one one. Bushido one, baby. Whenever the creature just... blocks or becomes blocked, it gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. How do you lose? <laughs> <You're clean laughs> How do I lose? Dagger. Who's going to block this? 
Let's How do Bushido. you win? <laughs> Can your deck actually take advantage of Bushido? Is there any way to build around that mechanic, or is it just? Oh, I mean, it's so what strong. It is. Why do you even need to build around it? <laughs> I can attack. If Phil can attack me, and I can I can kill Deathrite Shaman in combat. Damn. With my with my turn one play, I can trade with a three drop to, trophy, trophy mage. mage. Yes, Shido. <laughs> uh, this is a pretty good start. That's trophy one. Mage. That's one they haven't brought back. Yeah. Yeah, trophy mage is good. Yeah. What do you turn with it though? Turn two trophy mage. Mana rock. Right, mana rock, two, four, six, seven. Pass the turn. Revealing power, power stone shard. shard. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's he's so copying your Orvar. Right. Is very good. Ugh, Wait, but I you didn't even have a island. land drop. Nope. Oh yeah. <laughs> Who are these land drops? <laughs> that kind of got on like an artifact out. land. <laughs> a three mana artifact three land value. <laughs> <laughs> no, this. Oh, oh, right, right, right. Yeah, it's mana value three. It's not so she'll have to for good. artifact, main of value three, or VL put in her hand. I was thinking uh, Trick of Mage. Red, red, white. Failed to find. Mm. Yeah. No, no, no. Mono green, Farseek. <laughs> we'll, just, by the way. we'll just take a Temple Garden. <laughs> Too bad Farseek cannot get Urborg. It seems like I should be able to, right? It turns you know, everything into swamps. There are many green spells that can fetch any land. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, my deck doesn't do anything until I find <laughs> the Urborg, I don't think. I mean, Zakama's pretty good just by itself. <laughs> if Seth gets the nine mana, Zakama alone will just kill us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Zakama's so strong. I think Zakama I think... can just take out all my samurai. <laughs> yeah, that. Oh, yeah, I don't Zikama think this sense build around yeah. Zakama, but it's just like a good Naya commander. I yeah. have some like land synergies, so I think maybe the land untapping is why, why Zakama's the, the commander. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't realize you get a refund on your mana when you cast Zakama. Yeah, if you get up to nine, you get it yep. all back. Immediately oh, untap everything. Just blink it and go infinite. Okay. Only yeah, Zakama's is a combo it. commander. Usually. I didn't realize that either. I you do have to cast it, though. Wait, yeah, so you but you can do stuff like... Uh, if you cast You can it, do wait. stuff like bounce it back to your hand. With, yeah. Uh, like yeah. Teamer Sabretooth and stuff. Right, there are... Yeah, there are combos. Just not blink yeah. in specific. It's I like mean, that I, in, a, I, in a mana doubler, like Mirari's Wake, and then you go... I also don't remember ever winning the game after they cast it anyway, so it's pretty much... <laughs> I mean, it is just, yeah, it is pretty strong. I, I don't know how it is, and I, I only know it from Historic Brawl, so, but it's uh, pretty pretty strong. I, I don't run Mana Crypt in my decks anymore. However, <laughs> if it's in a viewer deck, I'm going to run Mana Crypt, you know? I'm not going to take it out. Excuses, Wait, excuses, excuses. Before the game, I was like, would you guys be cool <laughs> if I took out Mana Crypt for a mind center? You're like, I don't really, I don't want to alter my decks. So I'm like, hey, you know what? Fine. That, that was Here, we go. Comment. Here we go. Here we go. Here for the Dark Lord. I don't know if it's going to do that oh. much work at this table, though. What? Set the ready far seat. I know, but you missed that's the lane true. drop. Yeah, but uh, you're, you're going to outramp me anyway. The green yeah, players true. who you got to keep eyes on. I can get, I can get some, some, some. Look at this, look at this Whoa. damage. Look at this Don't turn that, one. Tomer. Come this on, turn now. one samurai <laughs> doing work. Broken. Broken. Already, already popping off. Doesn't even need the bushido. Just gets I in know. there. <laughs> it's act, it's actually a bad play because I had keeper in my starter, so this means I'm less likely to get a. <laughs> creatures off <laughs> off it but whatever it's sending a message all right mind oh, stone mind stone into ghostly in pilfer Rich oh <laughs> richard has all the mana but none of the <laughs> into land no none of the pay up no land call this all the mana here. <laughs> well, you have, well for being stuck on one land you're keeping up with the table and we know you have power stone shard too so you actually yeah. have a lot of mana for only drawing a single a single oh, land. lands you drops do have three, three mana is where i want to be at but okay <laughs> <laughs> well are we doing if somebody was running farewell you'd be you'd yeah. be in a bad spot but so this keeper's gonna be in each opponent's end step so he will get his land gonna... off you. I'm going to get one land. Unless you play one, bad white two, ramp three, and you reduce four, your lands with the Lotus Field. <laughs> ah, so we, we just did a podcast about uh, how you should hold on to your removal. Okay. And I'm going to completely ignore oh. our advice and Ooh. just blast from I mean, that's here. a board wipe. That's not just pretty, target or removal. I think this is a good play. Might completely annihilate me. Just, yeah, this I mean, was, Tomer's, uh, kind of Tomer's gonna double ramp. I'm worried about Tomer with Mana Crypt and double ramp. He might really go off there. 
I mean, I'm not going to do anything now. So that was a good play. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> How's Phil like leading on one bloodstained buyer? <laughs> now, if I can <clears throat> blow up the artifacts, then I will be unopposed in this game. I, I think yeah. no one will do anything. <laughs> I think Seth is in a very good position now. Yeah, I'm. I I think everyone is at an equal position because we just have lands. Oh, I could have gotten the comma. Companion. Oh, com yeah, I, mean, I forgot like... about the companion rule. Sorry, viewers. Should have oh, got to do it in sorcery oh, speed. We should yeah. mention yeah. that you're running a companion. Oh, yeah. sorry, the collector. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh, uh, maybe uh, heads it, always it wins. Clear. You're playing around Nazis. Dead text. So <laughs> I'm early. running. Umori as a companion, so all of my okay. cards in the deck that are not lands should be one creature, at just one type, and they're all creatures. That's why I am might not cast yeah. anything from my hand, if you look <laughs> yes. at this. It's gonna be... That's a tough restriction. That's, a, right. that's a big one. Ooh, this is good. Ayo. There's another board wipe. Ayo, nice. the Dawn Sky. Uh, Flying Vigilance, when it dies, you can choose one, you can look at the top seven cards, you can put any number of non-land permanents to total mana value four or less, among them onto the battlefield. Or you can put two plus one plus one counters on each permanent you control. That's a creature. It's not to do a samurai. It's not a samurai um, deck. It's, 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 probably, it's probably a combo deck with like two samurai pieces. No? <laughs> what? I just played a devoted retainer. What do you want from me? Actually, you're right. Why is this thing in the deck? I'm still confused. How does this help with samurai? Uh, there's it probably a lot of probably gets a bunch mono of white support cards. Read the primer. That... <laughs> yeah, I don't read, have read a primer. primer. What does it do? All right. I mean, samurai are cheap, right? So it dies, and you probably get to put a couple samurai into play, like wrath probably. protection, it's, maybe in just a like, weird way. It's probably just card advantage because a lot of the samurai are garbage. Like, <laughs> <laughs> how are how am I supposed to play a bunch of samurai if like they just get wiped and then I'm empty-handed, right? So AO and stuff will help. Okay. Turn. Uh, uh, yeah, Power Stone Surge is good. You got mm -hmm. you got a uh, Orvar war coming good. out next turn. It's not even good if you copy it once. <laughs> yeah, it is. Good. As soon as you, you it's it not. Twice. Otherwise, you would play one power stone. It's like you have to copy it three times to make it you worth playing. You have to copy playing. it multiple times. Yeah. Well, so it's, pretty it's like Tron. Yeah, it's okay, but nobody at this table plays one power stone. So, yeah, it's not. You play <laughs> Coalition Relic instead, right? <laughs> Seth does sometimes. <laughs> I pretty much play only Coalition the Relic's good. two mana. Ugh, Seth's debating two whether to end mana. my game right here with a sweeper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> if I, if I had sweeper? a Vandal Blast, I would cast it, but I, I do not. I'm trying to figure out. Oh, I can't really do much of anything. It would be, I guess the high entertain it would be entertainment optimization if you Vandal Blasted. <laughs> <laughs> if I had it, I would, but I do not. I don't know. I, I'm assuming I probably am not supposed to run this out already, but uh -oh. I'm going to. Uh -oh. okay. this, is, this is one of my this Whoa. is one of my my payoffs. Once I get on board, piece. right now, yeah, right now Probably's it drains fill a little bit, but so, so you cast karma your combo pieces out at the beginning of each player's <laughs> upkeep. Karma deals damage to that player equal to the number of swamps they control. So it does. We nothing, have to read them out. It does. We have to read them out. Every single time uh, I get an Tomer. email, like every single week, or not every single week, but I, the most common thing is like a lot of people who watch this show actually watch it like, like listen to it, like they're like cooking dinner or something. So I'm going to be a stickler going forward. I got you people who don't really yeah, watch it. But listen to oh, us. boy. I don't think get, ready, get, get ready for uh, everything. <laughs> Get ready for five-hour commander games. All right, still profit. Wait till we play some Boulder's Gate cards. We're going to spend five minutes reading them out. <laughs> yeah. Well, and then the back side. You don't have to the read them all side. out, but like the most important pieces, you got to at least say that you cast karma. Skull profit. I mean, a black and a own? green for a three-one <laughs> creature, human druid. <laughs> Tap at a black or a green. Tapper mill two. Okay, here go. I'm just uncommon. saying, read the. I, I cast mana crit. Oh, how long does that take? Heads always wins. Probably. I'm just, I'm I'm just teasing. To be I'm fair, just though, teasing. in uh, my content is pretty fast paced and I try to read all the cards. So it is yeah. possible. It's just not really good for <laughs> banter if we have to pause to read the cards a lot. So yeah. I think there's I try to highlight rounds. everything. Yeah. Oh, Phil got another ramp spell, though. You have yeah. some ramp in there, yeah. even for being an all-creature deck. You're doing it. You're doing it. <laughs> Mana dorks have existed since the beginning of Magic. <laughs> um, let's I need an play 
a Ganjo, Seed of the Fire, and then we I got really you. I'm playing around the Orborg with my one eye. <laughs> yeah, you're you're safe from this. <laughs> all you this gotta do is forever. just stasis the table now, and I will win. <laughs> I guess we just <laughs> Richard's all set. I guess we That's just suspicious. Kentaro. That is oh, entirely yes. suspicious, given that you're a white deck. <laughs> Kentaro, you yeah, pay X on the rather field. than pay the mana cost for Samurai. Does yeah. that do anything? So it yes. just like fixes their colors. So like if you have a <laughs> if you have a four drop, you got to pay four. You can just pay colorless instead of white. Is that? Yes. Am I getting? Am I understanding this right? An infinite mana combo now, and then still hmm. do something with Kentaro. And you can also huh. make Samurais cheaper and cost them for zero mana and bounce them. I, mm -hmm. I guess. Okay, so you can reduce like you can reduce their colored cost, which is easier to do than reducing or reduce yeah. their colorless cost with things. Yeah, like a, and then actually yeah. take advantage of it. And then do okay. play on curve creatures. Like, how does this? <laughs> it must be a combo <laughs> piece to infinitely cast samurais, right? I've never seen Kintaro on the battlefield before. We'll, this is we'll the first figure time. it out together. I'm definitely I'm not really close does. to winning yet. So. For some reason, I've Did... seen a lot of them since Spice Adrek made a video about him, and then I saw. A oh. bunch of lists. Well, probably two takes right. zero. It was also I also did a commander oh, quickie oh, right. with him. Oh, right, yeah. And it was it our work? best commander quickie. So when you'll you... have to watch to find out, <laughs> Phil. <laughs> yeah, good point. Look, I just <laughs> played in <laughs> Island. <laughs> oh, Richard's doing it. Single blue. I'm up to two mana. Okay. Is this Orvar? It's Orvar. Orvar. <laughs> it's yeah. Orvar time. Is it time <sighs> to copy the shards a bunch? Does the shards I, add colored mana? <laughs> I need that coalition. <laughs> I'm pretty scared of Orvar. Orvar is like a frightening commander. It's one it of those is. commanders that it's a tough, tough sell that you're doing like janky fun. What, what is what is the <laughs> things with what Orvar? Is the correct like sweaty Orvar deck do? Oh my goodness! Where's my uh, Orvar? Great copy. <laughs> yeah, you copy Agent of Treachery a bunch of times. Oh, or you, you copy, just, like, copy oh, like oh, that's anything, dirty. Right? Oh, <laughs> oh you just run. You just run a bunch of targeted cantrips, and you just like. Out, out well, I understand that, table. but what are you copying? And it's it's agent of treachery. Oh, okay, idyllic that's, tutor. That's gross. Yeah, we're gonna find it. We're gonna find an enchantment here. I have no we're idea. Find your royal decree. That's uh, the second I, part of karma. I, I need my. Ah, I Wait, need my Urborg for any of this to do anything, though. That's the problem. Uh, I think we gotta get card draw. Like I have cool swamp matter stuff, but Secret until I. <laughs> Mm. Oh, I can't. If I could tutor up, I would, Richard, and I would target oh, no, you. Oh, it's no. It's you have enchantment card. Oh, is it Sylvan Library? Are we doing this? <laughs> it might be. It might be Sylvan Library. That might be That's the way to go. <laughs> Keep taking that eight, Seth. Keep you taking will, that if eight. If you play an Orborg, you will die too, right? Yeah. My deck yeah. does have ways to try to like prevent you actually that have from a, happening. Also, Sakama gains that. life, right? So... There are I'm ways of forever, getting around it. If he's trying to get into that cards point. every turn with Silver Lion, yeah. we could take this. This karma. would be interesting. That's why I really liked the karma in, in Darien because I was running stuff like uh, Soul Warden and stuff that says whenever you, whenever a creature enters the battlefield, you gain that much life or you gain one life. And Darien, whenever you take damage, you make that many soldiers. So it works really, really well with karma. And like that yeah. life gain strategy. We are we are doing it. So you cast. <laughs> oh, all right, you can, you, cast you can ignore me. Library. You can ignore me for the rest of the game because <laughs> I will not, likely kill myself. Can you not tutor? Is there no enchantment card draw? No, not maybe not any deck, better than this. In magic, probably yes, but I think there are there's there's some blue. There's, 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 there's blue enchantment. Yeah, it's, yeah Risk Success Everything is all right. I also have more is pretty good. I also have Viridian Revel in the deck, but I don't know if artifacts are going to be going to the graveyard at any point soon. But I was debating oh. if I could get it, and then if maybe artifacts die, I could draw a bunch of cards. Okay, yeah. see the game. Um, <laughs> I will deny you your triggers. I, I love that card, though. It's really yeah, good. Yeah, it is a, so good against treasures, but no one's treasuring this week, really, like heavily. Toma should stop playing, telling people to play more basics. I checked the deck list and it is running more than five basics, which is too much for five. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't Flash do it. Yes. Are so I, I follow Tover's checklist. Here's I my don't. here's my rant. <laughs> yeah, but not for basics. In the I play Commander for almost a year now, and every week and in my spare time, I play Commander sometimes. And okay. I think I've never run into the problem of having no basics to fetch out so far. Wait, That's you're playing right. Visit though. Yeah, I think 
<laughs> oh, wait, <laughs> like I basics actually, in the visit. Actually, like, he's tough. He has, he has a cool look. Yeah, if you're five, I mean, you're five colors. So it's you not just five colors. Less. All your cards are gold. <laughs> and you yeah. need one of each. <laughs> Phil is nowhere near I, casting I, I'm definitely visit. on the team. You should be running more basics than, than most of you do, but. No, I don't know. I'm Ooh, not going to go basic. Who are you targeting with Ayo. this? Phil, I'm just going to snack that soul it's ring. Oh, oh, wait, that's mana crypto. Who is more scary? Oh. Think wait, you, so, you would take the soul scary. ring. Soul ring doesn't ping you. Mm, yeah, I mean. I, I take the soul ring. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I could build okay. myself. So I have Plus, to kill. Phil always. Wait, do I have to kill? You got to take the no, soul ring. Phil him. always always has a soul ring, even if it involves having the hostage check <laughs> one to get there. Exile, but it just always happens somehow. He just cast it basically. It no, let's just let it happen. Wait, do you have <laughs> any plan to stop this? If so, I I just take the mana crypt. I really <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, I have oh. a plan. I have a plan to stop it as well. So that's why I was double checking <laughs> with you. Uh huh. Uh huh. Right. So. I'll let Phil choose targets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying out of this one, do, do what you will. <laughs> I don't have any artifacts. Nah, I'm just gonna risk it. <laughs> all right so you can cast it and then i still own it but you, yes. you still own it but remember oh, homeward no. path is bugged what? so so that's not going to save you here and then this thing as long as it all my cards do like weird things so i got to keep reading this oh yeah i, I should <laughs> read the hostage it's like take winds well. of volrath or something <laughs> right you take all, right. all right yoink the so, person with it's two been yoinked mana. <laughs> And cast. And cast it. And, and Richard counters. Help you for <laughs> <laughs> no, it no, no, Phil's no, it still nowhere near Niv Mizzet mana. Awesome I mean, Seekers every Niv Mizzet deck is pretty much just good stuff and then play Niv Mizzet. <laughs> so that's fine with me. Except yeah. for this deck, it's just questionable stuff and then play Niv Questionable <laughs> stuff and then play Niv Mizzet. <laughs> 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 All right, at least my mana struggles are gone for now. Looks like I'm playing Soul Tie, though. That is not correct. What do you think of Emergent Zone? I've never put that card in, a, That's in my fun. deck. I you figured that, like, it. having to sacrifice it is too much of a cost, but is it actually <laughs> worth it? Combo, I mean, right? when you, you need you, it, yeah. You end of turn combo piece, untap combo, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. If, you, if you're trying to combo it. with it, then that makes sense. All right. Investigator's okay. Journal. This wow. is called it's called Mono White Card Advantage. Baby. Does this do? Enters the battlefield with a number of suspect counters on it equal to the greatest number of creatures an opponent controls, which is two because of Phil. Um you can remove a suspect counter from the journal to draw a card. And you can it's a clue, so you can sacrifice it as well. Uh I'm just I'm just gonna That's activate just card, it now. Yeah. <laughs> Draw a card. Oh, oh know, God. I, <laughs> oh, <I'm>, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm suspect so of many this samurai journal. Uh, it's to the bottom, Tor. What are you doing? Uh, you're a samurai deck. You're a samurai deck. You should be celebrating. Play, play the new walking powerful, powerful tribe so members. Oh, bottom. God. <laughs> oh, no. Come on, Bushido us, Tomer. Let's see it. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I love watching Tromer play Jank Tribes. <laughs> oh, Moon folks, cry it to the bottom. Samurai <laughs> Tribal. Oh no, Samurai, no! <laughs> All of the Samurai. <laughs> oh no. So bad. <laughs> uh, uh, at least uh, at least you got let's, AO. Let's spend a little bit. Uh yeah. our fly. I got a mana up to Homer. I know. What are you gonna do? Kill my kill my Kintaro? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's gotta be a combo, but you gotta be doing something suspicious. It's gotta be a combo, but what is the combo? I'm really confused. I have oh, Kintaro yeah. be important to this. I'm like we'll super find confused. out together. I'm intrigued by the the idea of the deck though. Mm-hmm. I also hope I find Urborg. I really like are there actually Urborg. enough samurai in white to like, <laughs> a real like attacking? So I, have, I, have, I have three there samurai are a lot of samurai. in my hand. So. <laughs> they, were, they were heavily supported in original Kamigawa. So I think there is enough that you can uh, play like a full. It is an Orvar. Nice. Just, this looks it's like an Orvar. I, I moonlace the Power Stone Shard oh, to make a Power Stone Shard. So we got to we gotta try to kill Richard. Wait, is this <laughs> scary? Kill Richard. I'm confused. Yes, Orvar yes. is scary. Orvar deck. untapping is just like legit. Orvar is super scary. scary yeah. That is true. I thought it would be more. It would be like Jank, and it just so happens to run Orvar. But if you're on, wait, what's the like, theme of the day? Yeah, oh, Moonlight is Mono Blue Burned. Mono Blue Burned. I'm gonna burn you out. 
Yeah. How are you going to burn? Oh. Well, there's like, find out. there has, he's probably like maybe Archaeomancer looping the char spell, the mono blue char spell. Because uh, remember, like, the first that's version amateur of char hour. was. <laughs> class, this deck yeah. is way cooler yeah. than that. Uh, but there's not like a gonna blue do Orvar three, thing. Four, five. Yeah, we got to we gotta deal with Richard. Or at least the Orvar. If we blow yeah. up all the mana rocks in the Orvar, then Richard's okay. We <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if we take Richard out of the game, then it's fine. <laughs> Those two islands can stay. That's fine. Yeah. That's... Didn't didn't you have an Orvar deck you played like a while ago, Tomer? It was, and yes. we killed you as soon as you played Orvar because we were scared of it, and you tried to convince us it wasn't scary, but we no, killed no, you. No, no, anyway. I don't think I tried to convince. I played it on stream and I just destroyed everything. So uh, okay, maybe you didn't try to convince us, but we just we. I remember killing you when you played Orvar or trying That's very fair. hard to. Yeah, you guys can do whatever you want. I will pass the turn. <laughs> oh, oh okay. suspicious. Very All right, suspicious. well, uh, we'll probably take an eight. <clears throat> I mean, I I really want. Seth to play the Orbor because it really helps my burn plan by burning everyone every turn for free. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, if I can, if I that. can tutor for you, Seth, I definitely would. <laughs> if I can find it, I will play it. Like that is the whole point of my. And deck. I have two lands. I am far ahead of this deal. <laughs> okay, that's not Urborg. All right, come on, Sylvan Library. Are you taking two? Oh, Seth's gonna burn eight? himself out though. I haven't seen. Yeah. I haven't seen the cards yet. Yeah. We'll see. Uh, those are not Urborgs either. Oh, he has a Thespian stage to protect Urborg now, too. <laughs> uh, all right, we're going to. We're actually not going to take any damage this time. What? Wow. Oh, I know. I know. So I know. I know. What is, what is this game? Um, we found a we found a cultivate, which still cannot find Urborg, but it can shuffle my library, so I get another look for Urborg next turn with Sylvan Library. Sure. Um. Get a couple lands. Mm -hmm. And then I think oh, there's still just no point in playing this. And a lot of my cards really need Urborg to do anything. So I think we're just going to play Ghostly Prison to discourage people from murdering us as we wait to find our Urborg. Your Urborg or your Field of the Dead? I see those lands. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> I, didn't, I know I didn't what's know up. Is there, is there a Field of the Dead? In, let me look uh, at my list. <laughs> 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 I would not play Field of the Dead in every deck. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I mean, it is kind of correct to just jam in most decks, I think, from a from a sweaty perspective. How do yeah. we start using sweaty over spiky? When when did this become I a thing? I think Krim, Krim corrupted us on that. Uh, that's the only person I've ever heard say sweaty. What? Sweaty game it's, removal. I don't know. It's pretty yeah. common. Yeah, it's it's pretty like, common I heard. I heard like try stuff. hard. Like I don't know. Try hard. That's like in the fifties. I think my grandparents. Right. Well, I'm a boomer. Thanks for calling me outside. <laughs> <laughs> your Back in my understand day, understand your slang. You gotta do a double take. <laughs> you know what? What really, what really throws me off? It's like the the zoomers and everything. They don't use LOL anymore. They use ha ha. Which okay, boomer moment here. If you're doing like a text message, LOL, three letters, ha ha is at least four. If you go ha ha ha, that's six. Why why did we why did we give up LOL? Bring back yeah. LOL. Make it cool again. You can't type on your phone, Tober. <laughs> you think what these do you mean? kids it's care about an extra letter? It's more efficient. <laughs> they type like hundred words per minute on their thumbs, man. <laughs> That adds up over the course of a, a lifetime. Bring Ooh, it back! Torrance. So, Torrance. Torrance, whenever I cast a creature Torrance spell, really I create a 1-1 one, one creature with training. So This whole deck is I creatures. <laughs> it is. Well, and I mean, then, it's an Amori deck, so you literally have to. Oh, yeah. I knew I had that blast from Sack now. stipulation. Let's I guess see. Ghostly Prison. I, I'd be cheering for a sweeper, but I know that sweeper's going to take all my mana with it, so I'd nah. rather just die. We don't know. Do you think the viewers me. submit farewell in their decks? Most I know likely. my deck doesn't. <laughs> uh, do I have a farewell? <laughs> play mm, maybe. But the, our the best board wipe that nobody will version. ever run. So, Jig wait, God. Jig God. Wow. It's right. another companion, companion, companion tribal. Another companion <laughs> taps for Wooburg, but I can only ca spend this mana to play generic uh, mana. Uh, I can't uh, cast. Uh, uh, that'll read the card. That'll probably let you. It'll let you cast your nib, basically. You can spend right. it to cast it, it nib. Taps to cast Think of it that way. Yeah. <laughs> no. Wait, what are. No. Why are you upset about Jingatha? I'm so That's like pretty low tier companion. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. It's
doesn't stop you from doing anything. Do you gotta, oh, do you have mana tithe? If you got mana tithe, fire it off, Domer. That is the that is oh, the no. one mana tithe. If you get a chance, you gotta no. use it. You can't. Well, you're gonna you can't no, fine, fine, <laughs> fine. I have mana tithe. <laughs> why are you so? Uh, what, why the dead card otherwise? Absolutely correct. This was. <laughs> I know you wanted to try to get my Zakama. I know, but oh, I, yeah. was I was suspicious. I was suspicious of this man for died. something a little bit juicier. Did I feel just, like, but Jakanta casting the Mizzet would have been very sweet. But I don't know. I, how many times can you skip an opportunity to fire off a mana type? Mana type gets gets sketchy later in the game when people get a lot of mana. I was honestly hoping to get like Richard's, you know, big bomb that he's going to copy or whatever, or Zakama. Oh. But yeah, you know, like what? What if he d- doesn't need all his mana to cast whatever yeah. he's gonna do? And then I just sit there like an idiot. So. Yeah, you gotta take your chance. Heads <laughs> I, heads I win. You act like the game will end like in two minutes. <laughs> you probably uh, have more chances at mana tithe. <laughs> yeah, we really we need a see. mana tithe compilation. I would watch that. Just all like right, the best best mana ties in Commander Clash history. Activate investigator's journal. Uh, hmm. Oh, you can so sack it, it as well. <clears throat> it's like basically hmm. secret rendezvous. Is this actually I mean, worth it? Like, no. is Investigator Journal a journal better than the other options that Ours you could play in that slot? Smothering Todd. Again, I don't run this in my decks. Oh, uh, but, you know, where's my Viridian Revel? Now <laughs> I wish I'd taken the Revel. I'm just setting up for that big old bane of progress. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's send a little bit of Richard. I mean, oh, I can't send it, Seth. And ah, it's kind of like a bit of a prison, right, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. Really... It starts sniping off multiple things. One, two, That's three, four, time. five, six, seven, eight. And Zakam is a nine drop. Ooh, Richard has a response. Shenanigans. Oh. Hey, oh. oh, yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is definitely just Orvars. <laughs> yeah, this evolution. is just an deck. <laughs> Change the text of target spell or point by placing one or all instances of one creature type with another. Oh, the new creature type can't be so solved for some reason. For so some reason. basically, it's, it's just, just copy something for one mana. Yeah, it's copy something. For <laughs> the, one the text mana. does not actually matter on that card. It is cool that it's correct to play guess, cards like that in Orvar. Yeah, I guess less cool that we're not stomped. Orvar only cards, but the end result is we're gonna die. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, perhaps right now. True for any deck at all. For mana tithe. <laughs> uh, or not mana tithe. Smothering tithe. Bridger's got 11 mana and 2 lands. That you can even pay for right. the smothering tithe. No. Yeah, the problem is <laughs> I need blue mana, not colorless mana, <laughs> to do anything. <laughs> I feel I, I, I feel for you. Where's my violin? <laughs> I can't find it's too small. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> for smothering tithe i've never seen that before that might actually be the first time i've ever seen anyone pay for <laughs> smothering tithe trigger yeah man i got so Error. lucky drawing these lands i it's kind of cool now that i <laughs> look at it oh did you not did you know i can't start with the first two lands and the rest mm-hmm. i just got lucky hey, only <laughs> i was kind of banking on that death right shaman but it's all mm-hmm. worked out and you got to steal the soul ring, uh, the soul ring even. Yep. Will you pay the two, Richard? Oh, the worst guy. Wow, are we all just going to pay for this? <laughs> wow, could we do it? Is this the game? Is this the first game in the history of Commander I mean, where everyone pays for smothering If you're time? not going to spend the mana, I wouldn't, you know, right? Oh, but I have Sylvan Library. Oh, I can't pay for <laughs> well, you got to You got to take the eight. <laughs> uh, Wait, is it But I draw them either way. It's, yeah, oh, it's yeah eight, I draw them either yeah, way. yeah. yeah, yeah. Like the, I, I know like the original wording is all bizarre. So the Oracle Every Sylvan Library is actually a yeah, it's a really weird card. Especially if you had an instant speed card draw that you can cast during your draw step. Richard has <laughs> nine mana. And he paid the two. And he paid for the tithe, yeah. <laughs> Let's see it. I haven't seen any burn spells. Just saying. <laughs> he probably needs like some crazy. Lightning bolt me, Richard. Card. Lightning bolt me. Copy. Copy Power Stone Shard. <laughs> Maybe. Any it's no gotta be. Permanent. What else are you gonna what else are you gonna copy? You can copy Karma and if I ever find my Oh yeah. boy. Well that's a turn. Uh, okay. Y'all are gonna get some treasures. I need a 
I need some burn cells. <laughs> well, yeah, Richard really said you cool. needed blue mana, right? So well, I do need blue mana. Smothering Tithe is good that for point. that. Uh, all right, so treasures, treasures. Oh, someone play Dockside, please. <laughs> <laughs> this is the greatest Dockside you're ever going to... Oh, you should have got that Viridian Revel, Seth. I know all I did. I wrote <laughs> Smothering Tithe at the time. <laughs> Can you I wish. Is there a, is there a Viridian Revel in your deck? There is. Yeah, he was oh, he was no. about to tutor it. Oh. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, you gotta pay, Seth? You gotta pay. You gotta. You gotta I was take responsible. I paid. You gotta take the eight. I can't pay. No, no. He has to pay regardless if he takes the cards or not. But now he's gonna pay life. Yeah. No, he's got a eight. Eight. <laughs> Seth. I don't think you I'm gotta. gonna take I'm not gonna take eight. I still <laughs> Oh, the problem with building <laughs> I have like one brain spell that does one damage and I'm going to kill yeah. something after he <laughs> still libraries himself down. <laughs> huh. Okay. <laughs> well, All right. there's a lot of treasures. <laughs> yeah, my deck without Urborg is very sad. Yeah. I'm sure you have a lot of ways to find I mean, It's kind of sad. Yeah, yeah, I just have missed them. land drops too, right? He only has four. Um, uh, have five. I? You only have four oh, lands. Seven. What happened yeah, to the ball? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah I, miss, I, I definitely missed land drop at least last turn. Ooh, oh, is I mean, I guess it's the comma time. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Got nothing else going on. No, no Urborg, so I gotta play the dinosaur. <laughs> Fair magic. Untap, kill Orvar. That's fine. I mean, you could untap, kill Smothering Tithe. Oh, you can kill anything. You can uh, kill yeah. everything except for my stuff. This just gonna armor. wipe Phil's board. Oh my god! <laughs> Send a message. <laughs> oh, he doesn't even. Oh, he doesn't even need to. He can just do it right now. Yeah, it's the like, comma when oh, it enters about when it, it you cast it. You can untap yeah, all lands you control, so you can immediately deal three damage, destroy an artifact or enchantment. Wait, so Seth can just Honestly. do nothing and just mow the board down. Like, yeah, yeah, that's. What I'm I probably mean, gonna for the rest of the game. <laughs> it's very, yeah. very good. <laughs> right. Like, literally control. do nothing and just yeah. mow the board down. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Really, I just need to gain life so I can keep Sylvan Library to find the board. <laughs> that's, the, that's the real purpose of this Sakama. Gain nine. <laughs> that's a whole turn of Sylvan Library. That's fair. Hmm. Uh, all right. You want to blow the, pass these, man up. these smothering tides right now, maybe? They're going to get treasures. I'm not paying for them, so. Mm. Sure. Does it even matter at this point? <laughs> <laughs> you already got so many treasures. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, not this uh, turn. Maybe maybe next turn. We'll see. Oh, Phil boy. Phil wants to draw eight cards this turn. That's why. <laughs> He's gonna toss. Uh, Phil has some huge card draw spell, then maybe that could change things. I've already auto yielded the smothering ties, so we've just we've moved past that part of the game. <laughs> <laughs> the auto yield is in effect. <laughs> oh my god. Did someone hover to uh, the back? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have enough colorless mana, I believe. You have enough yeah. mana, period, I believe. But I want my soul ring back. <laughs> oh, okay. Valid. Or I'm gonna use all these rocks to pay for mana. Uh, your soul ring died. Wait, <laughs> actually, I think I could. Hmm, let's play Am this I first. Removing auto yield. All right. <laughs> Sig. Sig. So, oh yeah, uh, Sig. Cut there. <laughs> Sig. River Cutthroat, two mana at the beginning of each end step. If an opponent lost three or more life this turn, you may draw a card. Oh, uh, my mana crypt. <laughs> yeah, mana crypt. Oh. Like, I need to. I need to. All this time. Oh, yeah. Hmm. It's a, you're going to be a lot of card draws. Oh, okay. oh, 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 yeah. Attack and so on, so kind of good. Unless you so, attack Phil, then I guess it doesn't. Here's the thing. If I. <laughs> you really want your karma to survive Seth, right? Uh, well, I mean, uh, yeah, right. to, <laughs> theoretically, I'll draw Urborg eventually. So, yeah, I mean, yes, I think so. Okay. I think he's going to threaten you, so just mow his board down right now. <laughs> I mean, I do have, a combo. He's going to threaten your karma mana. in exchange for Smothering Ties. <laughs> hmm. I mean, if Smothering Ties is a problem, I could just kill the Sig to minimize the triggers. <laughs> oh. That's, that's the other option. Like, if we're worried about Sig giving I him too much mana. Sig triggers the Smothering Ties. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Are we dead? Is this a combo? No, no. No, no it's like a Seedborn okay. Muse at home. 
Yeah. So five mana for all. It doesn't untap. It doesn't untap lands. Only green and blue creatures. So it's still. I mean, yeah. I guess it doesn't do much at the moment. Untap all green and blue creatures. You control during each other's opponents. No, all those creatures are green though, right? And they all get pounced. Yeah, but they don't do anything at the moment. Green or blue? It's green or blue. So they will untap all these creatures. But, but none of his creatures do anything. Piece. Like what? I mean, they what hit is... pretty hard. Torin's on the battlefield, and you're you're pumping up all the creatures. Oh, they on just it. they just pump too. Yeah. Yeah. So other green creatures you get uh, plus one, plus one. Other green and blue creatures you get plus one, plus one, and uh, yeah, then you get to untap all the creatures, not the lands, but the creatures. And Zakama hit face. With That's a lot of damage. It Wait, cannot Zikama's hit face. Nine, nine. Just gonna swing in at Richard here. Does anything have Looking back the skull? I guess profit. I could swing in at this. At this. At Toma. So Skull Prophet at Toma training triggers. Oh. So when it attacks and I attack with something that is more power, okay. it gets a counter. Mm. So Torrance gets yeah, but a counter. But I can trade with these. Ao. You can, yeah. Bammer Richard has Orvar. Back into play. I mean, I think. I think this. Hmm. Is Phil even scary though? I was thinking about milling down the liege, and then you'd each have profitable blocks. I'm more afraid of. Richard. Wait, how do you even kill the liege? Is four? Oh, you. I mean, I have a shoot. lot of mana. Wait. I can use the commas many oh, times. Yeah, I, I, I just that I, I have mana for it. Wait, how did Torrens? Oh, oh, I thought it was Mentor. Hmm. Okay. I'm more afraid of Orvar personally, but. Yeah, I, I mean, I so I could double shoot. I could double shoot just... the liege and then kill the Orvar. How about you shoot the Torrens? And I will. How about I mean, the Torrens is already a four. Wait, if I guys. shoot the Torrens, you're you're gonna block it with Orvar? Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. That well, that does two things. Torrens pumps every turn, right? That's the thing giving the counters. It does pump every turn. Yeah. All well, right. Sure. No, it, uh, it, I will. Okay. Training well, the training triggers, from triggers the every turn, itself. right? Yeah. But, but if you have torrents, then it, you don't have training. All right, so I will. I'll shoot torrents once, and then y'all can figure out the rest of this. All right. I think I blocked the skull prophet with Kentaro. <laughs> Kentaro has not looked impressive so far. <laughs> it has Bushido. <laughs> he has Bushido. Bushido. <laughs> Oh, well, that's right. Strike, it doesn't block be better than it broken. looks. Wait, why can't I? Oh, it's right. not going to matter on this in this particular situation, but yeah, we're going to kill the Skull Prophet. Bushido, look at that! Look at that! <laughs> it triggered! It triggered, it it triggered. Yeah. Yeah. nothing. <laughs> yeah, I, I almost <laughs> skipped yeah, my block because the stupid Kintaro trigger popped up. I was like, okay. <laughs> that's that's the main value of Bushido. Okay, I'm serious. <laughs> popping, <laughs> popping off. <laughs> popping off. The funny thing is, it would have traded anyway, right? Even without yeah, Bushido. Yeah, okay. yeah. It's fine, so it's though. still officially it needs to be done a nothing. Lot more like Bushido three or something. <laughs> yeah, well, that would be. There's too bigger Bushido You just numbers, don't block right? it. You're like, I take two. Okay, cool. And then, <laughs> and then that's it, right? Like, isn't there? Uh, what's the What's the expensive legend? That's like a seven mana two two wait, wait, wait. indestructible with Bushido oh, yeah. a million. <laughs> It's a Konda Lord of Aganjo, <laughs> and I'm only telling you this because it's in my deck. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's oh my goodness! It's, that a, so janky. it's a seven mana three three with Vigilance, Bushido five, and Indestructible. <laughs> How do you lose? So, so if you hey, ever block yeah, it, so it's bad, actually yeah. pretty good. But or you can just take three three a turn forever. It's and indestructible. It's fine. That's the problem you can't four right? wipe it. Uh, the problem or the best thing ever. Is Richard gonna like win the game this turn? Orvar is very scary. I mean, no. he's got. I mean, first of all, Orvar is not on the battlefield, and he's got a win with burn, so I don't think so. But he has smothering tithe and two, three power stones, so he can recast Orvar with you just one power stone and one island. As well. oh. Take them both out. <laughs> not anymore. I guess. Yeah, take them both out. I'm okay. With the question. The tithe. question is: Is it better for me to kill Richard smothering tithe or one of the power stones? I will block one of Richard's tithe, things to make it he's, even. He's, He's going to be strapped on blue mana. Oh, yeah. So you think hit the Smothering Tithe. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's fair. Man, Every, that's everyone cool. gets that's one cool. Zakama target. I'm okay with this. <laughs> Wait, what, what Zakama's was, also what was this card scary. originally? Clever Impersonator. Okay. The River Cut Throat is kind of cool, though. I, I've never seen this card before. 
but that's oh it's so good it's pretty cool yeah it's pretty good highly underrated you only draw one each turn right even if you have multiple opponents yeah. the way it's worded okay. yeah but yeah. i mean there's so many ways like if your opponents are attacking each other then sig gets I mean, mana crypts mana crypts sylvan, sylvan libraries library. like we're gonna see it in that's action right here potentially oh that hurts. Did you lose? The yeah. oh, and then Phil yes. gets to draw a yep, card that's too. A trigger. <laughs> that's a trigger. <laughs> <Yeah. about it. laughs> right. All right, let's draw a card. Woof the investigator's journal. Because yeah. it's a clue. I don't know about just sticking the clue type on random artifacts. Yeah, I don't know about sticking Shouldn't the clues be the tokens. That's on like it? weird to me. Yeah. Her Why are not supporting investigate as an ability like a mechanic my god why it's <laughs> we will, we will. phil phil loves his clues too no it's hope. the fairest and best mechanic ever it's uh why wasn't it in new capan hmm. how does why does you work why does the comma have reach it's tutor for that mana value basically it's discard it tutor speed and tutor anything or tutor i believe it's sorcery speed but and tutor anything or tutor specifically as long as it has the same mana value you can get anything all right so mm -hmm. if you kill this yes. it's just oh wait i don't even have the mana to do it <laughs> wait, wait no no it's fine oh yeah okay, okay. Is monument but like yeah. watch look at this all right uh-huh are we going to see a samurai? Is it, is it worth killing this? Tell me. I, if it's a samurai, I'm sure the answer is no. I have not seen one yet <laughs> that is right, worth the right, three right. mana. Not even Here we go. Here we samurai. go. Are you is ready? It? Uh huh. Are you ready? Araba Moth Rider. <laughs> it's a two mana, one well, that's one. That's a power bird. Flying it's, it's Bushido a two one. one. Busted. With Bushido. Yeah. It, is it, that riding it, a moth? It it's a moth it's rider, moth yes. Rider. <laughs> it triggers it triggers Roko or whatever while still being a two two. I can I can see where Tomer's deck's going without a Ketro monument though. We're starting to see what his commander actually yeah. does. Mm -hmm. Wait, he's nice. he's getting there. He's Wait, getting how there. How does Ketro's monument help the commander? So it reduces essentially if you have uh Kintero, it'll reduce the colored cost, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. so you can make your things free and loop them in some way or whatever. Yeah. Well, so Look it's some kind of infinite cost. creature casting hey. combo. Yeah, it's gotta be some like yeah. Yeah, like white lion retainer shenanigans. In the right. graveyard yeah. would cost zero. I'm Wait. still very far yeah. away from it, but I believe you can you. see where <laughs> the plan is deep. going. Yeah, I can see the, the direction that you're <laughs> heading. <sighs> Oh, before we restarted, I had land tags. I had mind stone, oh, not mind stone, mind's eye. Oh, uh, mind's wow! A, that's a that's a blast from the past. Yeah, this deck. I used to play that in like struggles. every deck. All right, Aqua Miba. Ooh, Ooh. Aqua two mana okay. one three. What? Discard a card. Switch its power and toughness until end. Suspicious. That has to be a combo card. So he has to want to get something in the graveyard. Is there like a flashback burn spell or something? I mean, I'm getting flashbacks from that Dan <laughs> Jensen game where he was like, what was the indestructible thing? Oh, he was the like, hallowed. <laughs> what was it? Season Hallowed. It was oh, actually yeah. just a house. Like it was cleaning up. <laughs> Okay, that's not. I mean, this this combo is a problem. This is a combo that kills anything. The combo just board. really stops everything. All the yeah. Time. yeah. I guess if you play a big okay. creature okay, that. such that he needs nine mana, he might not do it. Well, yeah, that's why AO is like pretty good chilling. Because at least it costs six to kill it. And then I guess okay, this. Kind of it. I guess this gets us. Oh my god, it's going to take another whole turn. You didn't but... take. You didn't take eight. What's going on? Uh, I didn't have an Urborg in there. All right, we're gonna play Knight of the Reliquary. Okay, so we that might gets be it. doing eventually. Eventually, give it. me give me another turn or two, and we might right, see right. an Urborg. Right, right. Uh, we'll play a land. Oh, should we smash someone with the Sakama? Richard's at nine. How are you at nineteen? I've been poking. Because everyone's with been AO. hitting me the whole game. <laughs> I've uh, been poking him with AO. A vigilance reach tramper. Nine nine. This is gonna be. I fear. I, fear I mean, the there's Orvar. there's really no excuse. I also fear the Orphar. But Blue Burn <laughs> is kind of neat. Blue Burn is very janky. I admit. The idea is, yeah. Phil's at thirty four. Phil's got the highest life total. You it's know, also what? the hardest attack. 
I think if I attack him, there's no way he's going to throw his whole board in front of the sitcom. Not when you have even, burn. Even Not when you, you throw lightning just bolts. Yeah, yeah I can shoot yeah, double down. lightning bolt, so he can't even yeah. block right. through that. Just, just a little off the top. Just a what little, just Bushido? a little niner. <laughs> no, what if he has yeah, I can't, exactly. I can't attack Tomer. He's got Bushido. <laughs> you can't probably. The comma, can't probably the comma cannot you. get through that. Yeah, <laughs> that Moth Rider. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can't, can't, does he actually have enough Bush- power to just block it? No, right? Bushido is what. No, what not if he lightning bolts my stuff. Extinct. Yeah, even through, Phil has a lot of toughness there. He might actually be able to. I don't think so because I I could have shot down two things or the leash if I needed to. Yeah, he shoot down the leash and take off a lot of the power. A lot of power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Phil t- just took nine commander damage. Yeah. Zakama is not really part of my plan okay. for winning, but. <laughs> no <laughs> no one's afraid of Zakama because Zakama is inefficient, but it is like insanely strong when it lands, right? Well, it, it is really good on the battlefield. around it. Zakama usually. You don't need to combo anything, just its abilities. <laughs> it's really strong. But I mean, it's very good like here. a 10 drop or whatever, right? You can't cast it normally. Yeah. I mean, I'm not comboing with it, and it's been very good here, so we'll take it. Yeah. I like how so the only person who's been taking any damage from the karma so far is is Phil. One yeah. a turn. One <laughs> turn. He's <laughs> taking one damage. <laughs> well, like, he's he's like, down. It's that watery grave. <laughs> yeah, it's like a city of brass over there. <laughs> is it Niv time? Do you finally have the mana? I, I <laughs> could two. cast a Niv, but I I think I empty my hand first. Wait, that exotic makes Orchard. Oh yeah, yeah. You make red from it. How about another leash? Ooh. Even more leashes. Oh. Redding so Orchard. Red okay. Get plus. Features the Torrens is doing some work with the green and white tokens. Yeah. It's kind of a neat oh, yeah. idea to have creatures that benefit from multiple leashes. Yeah, I mean, those decks probably super cheap now too, since all the yeah. they, they just reprinted all of these and they're like a dollar now or something. All the leashes mm-hmm. were they expensive before? Some of them were slightly not like super expensive, but it's, a few dollars. It was, maybe it was up a to low 10. print run and never got reprinted. Like I think yeah. Lorwyn Shadowmore had like a lower prints than normal, and, and it's pretty old now too. It's like fifteen years ago or something. Yeah. So they were creeping up a little bit. So do I just? Swing in hard at Richard? Yeah. Nine. Do you 15. dare attack the, the I take samurai? 15. Yeah, I have a pretty good attack here, but I don't want to run into Zakama. On the other hand, I don't know what to do about Zakama. Just Wait, does, I don't know what to do does against Zakama either. Does Richard die? Like, if I just shoot no, down his blocker, block. does he oh, die? Yeah, no, no. no. Even, no. If, if I chump block, you can just shoot my face and I'm dead. No, I can't shoot face, face. Uh, with Zakama. Oh, you can't Zakama shoot face. Zakama doesn't do that. But yeah. my, my creatures would kill you. Yeah. So if you kill if you kill the Miba, I'm dead, right? Six. Because hmm. I'd that be at actually... four if I chump block. I'm Should still I just like... run it all into Seth to try and fight him? Yeah. I, think I also so. have mm-hmm. Ghostly Prison. Just oh, keep that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Never mind. You can't, you can't <laughs> do anything about it. We can't really do anything about it. So he also has, he has Reach as well, so I can't hit him with AO. Or my Moth Rider, surprise, surprise. I mean, I could. I feel like both. Richard. Richard could combo off. Like I'm, I am scared of Orvar just like comboing off. I mean, that's what's oh, gonna happen. Even but I do kind of want to see Blue Burn do its okay. thing. <laughs> I don't know. You, feel, I'm not gonna do anything. Okay, do I'm do what you gonna... will. I mean, I definitely can't combo through as a combo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Orvar kind of needs to be on the battlefield. If, yeah, actually. if you involve my commander. Well, I don't even need my commander. I think it was a mistake to run Orvar. I didn't realize Orvar is such a scary commander. Like, you don't need Orvar for this. She's so such- this is oh. one of those cases where oh, it's like, trust yeah. me, bro, it's yeah. jank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the problem with, like, running... I, I run a jank commander, but I'm running, like, a busted... Or I, I, I'm running a jank deck, but I'm running busted stuff. Like, it kind of works against you sometimes. But it's actually not too important for this deck to have an Orvar. Uh, uh, so you think maybe you can actually just replace it and like kind of like commander. I'll show you the main, so the main thing it's trying to do. <laughs> yeah, I'm attacking <laughs> Richard. Oh, this, I mean, he might I just think... win out of nowhere. Later, how do we? But right I now, don't know I how we deal it. with Zakama. Is the problem is like I can't even cast any of the things in my hand. Yeah, I only run creatures, so up. as long as I don't play Solitude, which I probably won't. Looking at my commander, I need to find <laughs> my Conda. My Conda can actually tango with Zakama. That's my I mean, I'm not. Right now. 
I'm not really in the the business of just sniping your creatures. Phil's played a lot of creatures, so if you want to play your samurai, I'm fine with that. I just don't want to uh, die and tell you Urborg, so. I know, but Urborg If you're going to, like, win the game, then I'm going to have to do something, but. Uh, Lock. I need I need my Condor Lord of Aganjo. That's my only hope. Wait, what happened to your... <laughs> oh, we killed Torrens. Okay. Torrens is dead. Lock. Oh, no. Yeah, sorry. I just wanted to do a three to you that might and I wanted to grow my creed. Yeah, yeah, yeah you gotta attack you because of training. Down. Yeah, the tokens have training too. Oh, the tokens have training too. Yeah, that's what I wanted yeah. to tell you. Oh, it's been it's been a while <laughs> since I played Torrens. Oh yeah, you played it in the. Yeah, I played Torrens. Torrens is really so good. good. All right, here's wow, sure that's a Zali Pride Mate, uh, my Pride Mage, with some pretty new, cool new art and double masters. I can oh. sacrifice it to destroy target artifact or enchantment. Uh, I mean, yeah. that does let you get around the prison or the karma, so. Yes. That's why cool. I asked uh, Seth if he wanted to keep his <laughs> karma. Don't. Yeah. Don't angry me, Seth. Please don't blow up. <laughs> 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 the karma doesn't even matter at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's the right. Zah Kama. Oh, well, Phil, if I, I die, something. your soul ring goes away. Did you think about that? Yeah. Oh, I, Whoa. I Look at that value. How rich is it? So six? Cool. That's so much value. Yeah. I do like having Zakama on the battlefield. No one messes with you. Yeah. No. <laughs> when you get the Zakama out, everyone just leaves you alone. <laughs> leaves well, you what alone. Am I, yeah, you, it's a 9-9 nine -nine of reach. And it can shoot stuff down, so no one wants to deal with it. Yeah. Heads always wins. Why? I mean, I would deal with it. Trigger if the sig. Heads, I win. Heads always wins. That's the saying. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Wait, you won, right? Yeah, you won that one. No, so but I'm looking at what I drew. You drew a samurai. Uh, <laughs> I don't understand why you play these stats. I'm not going to cast him. I'm not going to kill your samurai. I don't, I don't understand. Unless they're going to win. Like, well, I play the run them out. You're disappointed in half the cards. <laughs> Run him out, Homer. I'm not just going to snipe him randomly. Do I kill Richard? Seth's <laughs> yeah. like, farewell. <laughs> oh, you could just... Uh, yes, yeah. probably. I could just kill him. You can kill me, right? Good. You have seven. But what if I so, etherize you? But <laughs> That's fine. I got more or catcher triggers. Any plan against Sakama just before you kill Richard? I don't have anything. Richard, do you have any plans against Sakama other than winning the game? Uh, I, mean, I do need to remove the comma to do anything so yes i have <laughs> i can work towards getting him out of here but again seth will just have more mana to recast the comma and shoot everything because all the lands on tap oh. <laughs> so seth is pretty much wrapped it up i think yeah all right i don't you even want to win with the combo i mean <laughs> phil phil if phil can overrun in like one shot seth but even then i feel if seth just holds mana like it's not happening <laughs> what a what a pickle um, who do I even poke then? I have vigilance. I guess I poke Phil. No, no, he has no flyers, does he? Is this he doesn't have two. flyers. Oh, you can't really. I can't. I cannot attack Seth. Well, I, I can. No, I can't even attack Seth. <laughs> you could get him for one, maybe. Well, if I didn't activate, like, the don't you want to trigger <laughs> your dragon to put swing to put no. samurai into play? I'm no, confused. because because then Seth will just blow up whatever I get. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't I actually like my 5-4 with Vigilance and flying. <laughs> Ayo. Ayo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me just do this. And we pass it. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Hmm. I mean, you do have instant speed with that emergence zone. Yeah. Oh yeah, Stay maybe Tomer's about to combo off. Yeah, no <laughs> samurai combo. <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, that's not happening. I, I, um, I need to draw a burn spell here to at least look like it's burned. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't drawn any of the proper pieces. What is it called? Uh, I, a psionic uh, blast or something? The there's a colored pie break burn spell in blue. Oh, oh. Yes, I am. Plus, I'm I'm a rounds. little I'm a little worried about Richard just like winning out of the blue. So I'm gonna blow up a Power Stone shard, which I think cuts off five mana out of the blue because he's a out mono of the blue. blue deck. Ooh. Ah! 
at Waka Waka. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> buy, buy your play mat. <laughs> All right. Um, buy your play mat. Well, seriously, though. It. Buy your play mat. What do you, you know I'm buying like 10 of them, we, right? Whoa! Oh, oh, oh he is going to combo off. <clears throat> should kill them. Should oh, you can just do it again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah. Way, you lost your he probably says. needs Orvar on the battlefield. I would hold that last Yeah, one, that's right? the question. Do I cut his cut him off of mana, or do I try uh, to wait for the Orvar? I don't know. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, did six, seven, eight. Did I make seven, a fatal eight. mistake? I think so you have 11, he'd should have 11 he? mana. Should I kill them? Orvar is six. six seven, so he'd have nine, five ten, mana ten, when he Orvard if I blow it up. I have 16 mana currently. And you but go down to 11 if the... I blow up a Power Stone Shard. Yes. That's such, uh, that's I don't know. So tough. What do you think? What do you think, Table? Wait think for Orvar or blow up? Orvar. I think you wait for Orvar. Yeah. Uh, but does Orvar just protect itself or no? Like, I mean, he's going to have to no, waste another to... spell. Actually, no, no. You can't stop it, right? Because if it resolves, then if I cast anything, the trigger happens even if you remove Orvar. Yeah, but if you need more than one trigger thingy. Yeah, you want to cast again. If everything everything I have is at instant speed, I could just cast again. Yeah. Once it's on the battlefield, it's on the battlefield. So unless it's a sorcery speed thing. Uh, I don't know. I I don't know. Richard's trying to convince us not to blow up Orvar, so I'm on team keep keep it around. It's or he's trying to. Very sus. <laughs> I'm just literally uh, telling you how the card works, but okay. Ah, I don't know. <laughs> you interpret oh, how you want. How does he keep getting away with it? I mean, oh, I'm it. getting away with it, guys. I'm totally <laughs> getting away with it here. <laughs> I don't know. It's tough. Right. Oh, am I, I untapping? No, no. Wait, it hasn't happened it's yet. On, it's on set. Oh. I don't. I don't know if there's there is a right answer here. I kind of feel like it's, it's looking bad. <sighs> I think I'm gonna. <laughs> What blue burn is there? How does Orvar... Orvar does... He did say that Orvar didn't really matter. I don't believe him. <laughs> like, he could play a different... You know what? I'm gonna... I, 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 I don't know if this want. is... I, I, I don't know whatever. if this is right, but I'm gonna try again to blow up a mana rock. Right. I think, I think pinching the mana is the, the way to go. I don't know if that's right or not. We'll find yeah, out it momentarily. <laughs> it's impossible to know. All right, Richard. Go ahead. All right. All right. Are we dead? If we die, at least kill us with burn spells. <laughs> and he did a good job surviving. So yeah, I, I did a good job him. surviving. I literally <laughs> did nothing. He just got punched <laughs> in the face the whole game. <laughs> yeah, but I'm blue. Killed. What am I gonna do to survive? I mean, for rise. having three lands, Wind. you were right. in the game, which was impressive. Uh, pass yeah. the turn. Go ahead. R- really? Oh my goodness. What? Okay. Yeah, he is dead then. Or he has. Wait, does this grip. mean he's going to win at instant speed? <laughs> is this all part grip. of Richard's no. plan? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> to flash in my emergent zone, the flash in Orvar. <laughs> and then I'm going to combo off as your Zakama triggers are on the stack, and then I'll get you. <laughs> I don't understand the mind games. What's going on? There, ah! there are no mind You're mind gaming yourself. Like, Seth has been the scariest board. And That's Phil what the you would say. The whole ah! game. Convince yourself to use all your resources on me, but no, you're fine. the one I can punch. I, I would attack Seth, but it's expensive. Oh, oh well, He's you do have a my... you have a Kasali to blow up the ghostly prison, and then you're yeah. We're but gonna... I might have to blow up the Kama. You only take six. Oh, yeah, well, it takes six. <laughs> We're gonna do this upkeep to shovel our library. We're finally oh, gonna get Herbor. If you just leave me alone. Yeah, over <laughs> no. two turns. I'm dead to the karma. Yeah. And then uh, we might as yeah. well use our mana since we one card remaining. Floating. What do we do with it though? Maybe we make Phil make his decision. Hmm. What? By blowing what up the decision scoring. does Phil need to make? I'm very confused. Actually, you know what? Whatever. We'll let we'll let the one mana go to waste. Well, you know, oh. he needs a mana for the Pride Mage. So if we blow up the Soul Ring, he'd have to do it now, or else I could kill the Pride Mage. But hmm. uh, all right, we're just gonna we're just gonna see what we draw. Uh, take wow. eight. Take oh. eight. Take eight. Take That's eight. Interesting. Take it. We might. We might. We'll see. So far, the cards haven't been worth <laughs> spending life on. Uh. Interesting. All right, uh, we're gonna we're gonna take four, I think. Nice, nice. What's the other part of the combo? We don't have enough lands for this karma to kill us. 
All right, so we play Tempt Field with the Discovery. Dead. <laughs> you were oh. correct that there might be zombies involved. Nice. Uh -huh. And then you're going to see one of my super sweet, <laughs> super sweet Urborg tech cards. It doesn't do anything right now, but it's going to be kind of funny in the future. Uh, one, Angry two, three, mob? four. <laughs> you know this archetype incredibly well, Tomer. <laughs> I'm like played Derek blown away <laughs> how good you are at <laughs> guessing these cards. <laughs> Angry Mob. Uh, it's it's power is equal to the swamps on the battlefield with a bunch of a little a little boost depending on whose turn it is. But essentially, it gets big based on the number of swamps. It's uh, power and toughness. So it's sixteen, sixteen with trample right now. Yeah, for four mana, and then power yeah. creep. By the way, <laughs> yeah, I think the artwork <laughs> is a reference to Frankenstein. Yes, long ago. and it's Drew it? Tucker art. Drew Tucker is one of my favorite. I love if Drew Tucker's style. If it was drawn in like twenty twenty, it would have been a reference to Castlevania, the TV show, maybe. Mm -hmm. Angry Bob in Castlevania. I didn't even know this. Or Castlevania TV or maybe show. Snow, uh, not Snow White. Uh, the uh, Beauty and the Beast. Eh? Actually, there's a lot of Angry Moms. Who knows? Wait, so is it Angry Mom and Beauty and the Beast? Yeah, when yeah. they at the end of the movie where they're trying to kill the beast, and guess song riles the uh, the town. They kill the beast? beast. Man, I have to watch this. What? <laughs> All I remember is like Beauty and the Beast, and candlesticks uh, dancing and singing. That's my memory. Just give of it. Beauty and the Beast. Give it a couple years, Richard, and I'm sure you'll be watching all these yeah. movies again oh, now that you have a kid. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm pretty uh, sure I watched like the remake of Beauty and the Beast like four years ago or whatever. No, he's he's, he's not gonna watch all of them. He's gonna watch one movie like eighty times, like the next <laughs> frozen movie or whatever. You know, uh, you're not gonna watch all of them, you're just gonna watch the same one over and over again. Just I'm make sure you're a movie YouTube like short over something. and over again. Whoa, hours. So your highest gonna, life total, your highest life total. Pull I'm the, the, love. the psych rift out of Richard's hand. I don't think Richard the, has it. Pull the plug out of my <laughs> Phil, can, <laughs> Phil can kill him. Uh, Phil will do it for value. <laughs> uh, we're all gonna choose not to kill Richard. He's gonna combo next turn and win. <laughs> that would the be the karma. I mean, I have two turns, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. The karma. The karma alone will, will kill get you me. eventually. Well, the karma triggers Sig. Oh wait, no, oh. it doesn't. Because it doesn't. Does it? Did you take three? You did. Right? No, I tutored up the herb oh, after the karma. The well, the, yeah, you, the karma hitting me will tutor Sig. Well, oh yeah, I did back. take. Yeah, Sylvan Library did trigger. Sig's been doing a pretty uh. good job at card draw. Sig's been doing great. Right, yeah. Does leave our mana up? Is Sig just a good two drop? Yes, <laughs> it is pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> pretty good. Yeah. All right, we're just gonna we're just gonna pass. All right, keep that is in it mind. Yeah, so, would you play Sig or would you play say Underworld? Please don't. Oh, to eat. whatever. I'd play Sig over a Phyrexian Arena. Oh, Phyrexian probably. Arena. That's what I meant. Yeah. Ooh. Hmm. Phyrexian Arena is a bad card. I yeah. love Phyrexian Arena. Yes. I think Phyrexian Arena is better. Probably depending on the deck, but in, in a vacuum, yeah. I would rather have Phyrexian Arena. I mean, if people want to play around it, then they can, right? Because then they, they don't have to attack your opponent's so they can just attack a Sig player. Yeah, but you can attack someone, right? You, that, that's minimum. Oh, if you can accomplish right. that, that's minimum Phyrexian Yeah, Arena. I'm not even sorry. Gotta get, <laughs> okay. get this off there. So, has Phil gone wide enough? Because Phil's Seth coming at me. Mm -hmm. Oh, looking at what I've drawn, this might have been a little bit of a mistake, but I don't care. So, okay. Well, Did you get exalted? I'm sorry. <laughs> there is no, some, no. some karma for you. <laughs> Got wow, Angry Mob <laughs> is a lot worse when it's not your turn. Oh, yeah. oh, oh Angry oh. Mob can't block. It's only as long as turn. it's not your turn. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh that's too. hilarious. I'm like, how is Phil gonna attack through the sixteen sixty? Well you can't always the, be angry. The mobs right? the mobs back home down. now having their dinner. Yeah, yeah they're they're <laughs> chill. <Back to> brunch. <laughs> Waiting for the for the next tweet they dislike. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's <laughs> called it's called the Twitter mob. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is this is the subreddit right here. <laughs> this is spoiler season. They've calmed down. <laughs> wait, wait till <laughs> wait till the news. Yeah, wait for Dominaria. <laughs> Wait till Magic Arena devs make some kind of announcement. We'll be back. <laughs> Next alchemy update. <laughs> oh, it reminds me of that Magic Arena deck set. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should have brought that back for Revenge Week. <laughs> uh, All right. Okay. Wait, hmm. does, what does the commander do? Does Imari do anything? What does Imari? It just like it just lowers, nah. it, it discounts your creatures essentially. Yeah, you play it, you name a type, and it gives a one mana discount. It's just a four or five, yeah. basically. 
Doesn't help with Niv, but it helps with the other stuff. Mm, so I assume I mean, Phil's coming that's in. That's at 23. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to settle that into. He set. has the comma again. He can gain I'm just going to try everything I, mean, I can at this point. Hey. I'm at 12 as well. I just want to get some justice on this table. Unless Richard wins. That would be very <laughs> unjust, but... Yeah, <laughs> I feel like he will. You could just hit me. Kind of, uh, me. I always feel like he wins, but uh, we all could have just hit him. What is our best way of staying alive here? We all had um, that opportunity. Tomer still has that opportunity. <laughs> I still have that opportunity. Oh, yeah, you can still. I mean, one of us better. One of us better kill Richard after all this. Well, It'll be embarrassing if Richard update. just combos off. Wow, am I just gonna <laughs> chump with this angry mob? I think I have. <gasps> no, Seth. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> This is a lot of damage. Uh, a lot of damage. How much do you take after this? Even if I chump with everything, I take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen. I think. No, but you you can yeah, shoot. You can shoot stuff still. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Do a little chumping. Yeah. That was painful. Oh, and I need that life for my Sylvan library, Phil. Phil, Phil, <laughs> Phil. <laughs> Only a nine. Not Only a nine. nine. Doesn't... Oh, he can gain life. Okay. <laughs> he, still... he can gain six. He has a nine-nine reach blocker. Yeah. You know what? I think it's time. Green, <laughs> blue, red. Are we going to see Niv finally? White. And a little black. Our life totals are getting low enough that Richard could just psionic blast someone on my own. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting we're getting to Wait, that point. I, I take two damage from psionic blast, right? It's it's oh, a char, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's a char. Because <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least sorcery, you're the right? spell. I'm pretty sure it's a sorcery. You take yeah, you Okay. Take, uh, let me just read four. Nif. When it enters the battlefield, I reveal the top ten cards of my library. For each color pair, I choose a card Woo! that's exactly one of those colors among them. Put the chosen cards into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library. Somebody submitted a Nif Mizzet Reborn deck with charms. Just drew, they do just not work. They have to be two colored, so three colored mm -hmm. spells do not work with Nif. Just, just in case. Oh. Wait, did I just auto pick oh. up these cards? Okay. Yeah. That, the murderous red crab can actually kill Richard. That's hilarious. Mm -hmm. How come? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it deals no. two damage, and then karma <laughs> would be three. Oh, uh, let me see if I get. Can't something. cast it though, due to his amazing mana. Man. He's got Urborg no, though. Got we all have Urborg. Oh, he does Urborg. Oh <laughs> yeah. no, Seth, your Urborg. <laughs> the Urborg win. The Urborg win. Uh, yeah, this might actually, actually one, be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, eleven. Seth is going to take eleven on his turn. Why would he take eleven? Karma. Oh, so Seth is dead unless he's a combo yeah. himself. I mean, wait, are you Phil? If you kill, if you kill Richard, I might be able to kill Seth. Nice, nice. Should I kill Richard? You could for real, for real, kill Richard without him untapping. So no, because oh, if he has like Psych Rift something. or something, that'll be yeah, that'll be it. Well, I'm not gonna or an either rise or something. Look how nice I was. I didn't even counterspell your Niv Mizzet. You did. Uh, you yeah, I mean Niv Mizzet countering <laughs> it doesn't really help that much, but. Okay. Well, I wish I would untap my green and blue creatures, but at least I have an 8 I could have. You could have not attacked me with everything, Phil. <laughs> that wasn't really an <laughs> And option, then your leash sorry. would be alive. <laughs> and then you draw a card. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm going to oh, try to fit good. this in more decks. This card seems cool. Which card? I know so I'm a little biased, but you should. You probably should kill Richard. At least send two at Richard. I'm Seth, you got you got to you got to save me so I I'm can save you. I'm going to try. <laughs> I'm trying to save myself at this point. <laughs> you need me to save you. <laughs> Phil Phil and Tom are about to kill you. Okay, but uh, Richard's not going to save you. He's going to combo off and win. I don't know. That is the if I draw the combo Seth, I won't kill you. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hmm. That is tempting. I don't even have the combo. Tomer might be killing me now with this. <laughs> Tomer is going to win right here, is my belief. I am not going <laughs> to win right here. <laughs> He you is probably, going to try, and if no one has interaction, he wins. No, I'm going to see if you have... No. 
Um, no. I'm going to do this though. Immersion zone. Oh. Wow, first time right. I've ever seen this activated. And he's comboing. There's no value in this. I mean, you can't sack a land for, yeah, I am for not a value play. I am valuing. You're just playing your samurai? You're I'm just play literally around. playing my samurai. <laughs> that makes zero sense. <laughs> what do you mean? What? I'm putting more bodies on the battlefield. Why didn't you just cast it? Mate phase. Why would you go down a land for that? So I can attack. Oh. Oh, There's hmm. a second combo piece, right? Oh yeah, I'm not yeah. Humbling. Now so all his creatures to... cost like zero. I'm well, he doesn't have his battle. commander yet. Yeah, I'm well, just... he can bring it back. I'm just putting more creatures on the battlefield. He only has three cards in hand. Yeah. What did did Phil get anything relevant out of his? Well, oh, Coily Oracle, Mind Rack Liege, Kentaro, is back. Kentaro. Wait, so how do you not die to yourself, Seth? You're really just gonna. What are you doing? Every time? What are you doing with this Tomer? I'm just casting creatures. <laughs> are you? Uh, are I'm you not comboing. Creatures? Are you killing yeah, me with combo. those creatures, though? All of these creatures no. are lethal. I'm trying to, to kill because I could. I could be blowing up your monuments and so forth. Oh, right. yeah. All right. All right. But you can mm -hmm. respond. I can just respond by casting my creatures anyway, so it doesn't really do anything. Well, without Kentaro, though, I could heal before Kentaro resolved. You can, but that doesn't matter because I have treasures, so they tap for col uh, colored mana anyway. Oh, oh, oh. It'd be so I guess Kentaro doesn't Every do anything. Every one power yeah. matters at this point. You guys are at 9, 12, and 22. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're everywhere. With the karma dying. on the battlefield. Yeah. Yeah, I, actually, sure. I, have a lot of, I have a lot of lands on the battlefield. That's kind of scary. You're going to die. You need to Zakama yourself. A <laughs> like a bunch of times. Kondas, Hatamoto. <laughs> nice. So that, that was free, right? Do you have the other half? That was free. Mm -hmm. that, that was zero mana, Konda. All right, this resolves. Very good. Homer well, might be able to kill Seth right here, actually. Hmm. Who do you? I wonder who it's most beneficial for Tomer to kill. I'm gonna kill Richard. Well, you gotta kill Richard. Yes. <laughs> That's step one. Or <laughs> this is why you never play Orvar. The yes. fear of the unknown is too great. <laughs> Yeah, it it's is really true. There's little onboard problems, but no, don't worry about that. <laughs> we'll worry about this like mono blue ah. burn deck that's dying anyway to karma. But all right, send it at me. Orvar, Orvar is just like so comboy that I, I also am scared of it. I just know it can have those like go from nothing to having a like I win turn out of the blue. I think mm -hmm. Tober can actually just straight up kill you if you wanted to. I mean, yeah, diverse then, attention he, he may could. not be but then you're to, alive right? <laughs> I can, I I mean, can straight up kill Seth but I'm still gonna yeah. try to kill you and but Seth hasn't Seth been worried now. at you at all right I'm like Tomer is just equally <laughs> as lethal to you <laughs> I mean the other thing to consider is I do have Urborg with like 10 lands like I, I've yes. sort of locked myself out of the game at this point more or less or locked you myself into six. spending a lot of mana to gain life Yeah, you can to stay alive yeah. like, you're just gonna die Yes, I'm. <laughs> There's a bunch of cards in my deck that are supposed to prevent this from happening, but I I didn't draw. I had a hard enough time finding the Urborg. Glacial chasm or something. I didn't find the other piece. There's actually quite a few cards that like weird enchantments that prevent all damage dealt to you during your turn or an all non combat mm. damage. There's there's a few different yeah, yeah, yeah. things that do it because it is damage. So, but I don't sure. have Four, one at five, the moment, six, unfortunately. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. okay, heads always wins. Come on. I feel like your mana crypt percentage yeah! is pretty good. Yeah! Heads always wins. Man. All right. Uh, we move to combat. Mm. So I need to do at least two to Richard. Uh, Five. I'm at five. No, but there's a karma. Mm. There I, is right okay. now. <laughs> there is right now. <laughs> I'm not sure. No, but I can't kill. I can't kill Seth. So there's no, there's zero ways of killing Seth, Seth. and nor, nor will I will, nor will I kill Seth. I don't think. Wait, Psychrift is seven to Overlord. Seven to Overlord. Yeah, oh, seven. One, two, three, Psychrift four, five, check. six, seven. Mm -hmm. ah, Richard could have it. I mean, maybe we, maybe we trade in the AO at this point. AO. Interesting. And then we. Send the Moth Rider at Richard. 
<laughs> send the Kantaro at Richard. <laughs> the Bushido doesn't activate Tomer. You need to send the Bushido. Is such a... <laughs> <laughs> it's such a bad mechanic. Yeah, like one, it, two, three, four. So Tomer's gonna be at one. You might as well at least send. To, yeah. Oh, oh, going. Yeah, oh, okay. All his creatures have vigilance. I don't even know what he's doing. <laughs> what what am I doing? Have vigilance. I thought you're afraid of the crack back from <laughs> Phil, but you have vigilance. It doesn't even matter. Yeah, that's if you're uh, unless. We have ether eyes. Are you sending five at Richard? I feel like you might. Yeah, as well yeah. I've send sent five, five at okay. Richard. Okay. I've sent Kintaro is two. Arabo Moth Rider is one. Uh, so three. Oh, oh! I should send. I should send five at Richard. Yeah. Yeah. If you're gonna go more than two, you might as well go five. I think. All right. That way, if he gets rid of like Kintaro or the Conda, then it's still lethalish. And then we have Bushido. Yeah, he'd have to answer your thing and the karma, I guess, basically, to uh, to not die. I or just have Cyclonic it. Rift or something. Yeah, this is the Cyclonic Rift checked. Uh, eh? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Bushido won. Let's see it, Richard. Uh, we'll go to blockers. Yeah. This seems to be a bug, guys. I can't select <laughs> any of my blockers. <laughs> we should note this down as a moto fail. Uh, well, interesting, interesting. I guess we got to block the AO. 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 <laughs> Maybe I should have sent more. You put non land permanents. Total is Richard just more. dying? Wait, is that? I mean, oh, so I'm playing Mono Blue having... Burn. <laughs> I don't know what you okay, want. Richard didn't didn't have anything. Okay, <laughs> okay. I think he had something. Oh, but, uh, all right, all right, yeah. all right. <laughs> all right. All right. I mean, it's surprising with so many Which... fail safes that this usually just doesn't happen. He always has like a face. Yeah. I didn't so, build this deck. Yeah, guys. that's what I, I mean. Playing a Mono Blue like. Burn deck. <laughs> Let's put uh, <sighs> counters on everything. I guess. Right, I mean, we'll... I want to see how Seth gets out of this. Let's see if yeah, Seth has... me, me too. Yeah, this whole game is <laughs> a bit of a pickle. You have He's going to have to gain some life. Definitely got to gain some life just to survive my karma. Got bad karma Wait, at the pre-combat moment. pre-combat main phase. Oh, it's a tap ability. Sensei Golden Tail. I thought you'd pay two. Put a training oh. counter on target creature. Begin. Oh, my God. You have to tap it as well? And, and it's a sorcery. <laughs> Uh, yeah, those samurais are pretty bad. <laughs> oh, right. he needs. Oh, he needs to make something into a samurai for the combo. No, I just want to get extra value after combat. <laughs> All right, that's uh, like that's what I got. Yeah, oh, the six, sig triggers every God, every six, single turn multiple oh. times. Kind of insane. Yeah. Um. All right. One, two, three. Gain some life. Mm-hmm. So Tomer has actually masterfully played around Karma by having four lands the entire game. <laughs> right? you, two, you four, did six, you and seven. Phil will take two. Him. Seth will take two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Yeah, okay. but yeah. he gains. He can turn three of those. I mean, Seth, lands, Seth is dead if someone wants to kill him. But the problem is, if Phil taps out, one, two, three, three kills four, five, six. Seven, but if Seth eight, doesn't nine, die, ten, then Phil 11. will just die to the Karma as well. So. Eleven lands. Yeah, but either way, that's he's dying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like if he swings at Seth, then he has no blockers. Oh, I don't know what to do. I want to be able to use my Sylvan Library. One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> you gotta six, take eight. seven, eight, you nine, ten, live. eleven. But well, I'm taking eleven from the Karma though, so I'm going to one at the <laughs> moment. To one. That's perfectly alive. Right? Life. But then I can't. I can't uh, use Sylvan Library very well. Uh, I don't know if I need to gain life here so I can get an extra card. I guess we can't. All right. Well, we go to one. Gotcha. Ouch. Wow. Sylvan Library. That doesn't wow. help. Wow. Goes to one. <laughs> Either way, you would have went to one, right? You would have paid mana to gain life to draw off Sylvan Library. <laughs> yeah. So, like, either way, there was no difference. That's fair. You got it. Right. And eight, then you so. strip mine your own Orborg here. <laughs> <laughs> this deck probably should have a strip mine, actually. Being able to tutor up with <laughs> when Knight of the Reliquary to blow up Urborg actually would have kind of been relevant here. 
I mean, I'm sure the deck runs like crop rotation or something to also get rid of it mm. if you need to. You must be oh, playing yeah, those like sideboard cards where like when a swap becomes tapped, like something mm. happens. No, this is tricky. What do we do now? Who knows? So that, that does nothing. One life. Oh, Seth can actually kill Phil if he wanted to lock in second Yeah, I place. can. I can kill <laughs> Phil. <laughs> He's guaranteed to die. A bid for second, Seth? I mean, I might kill Phil. I could also just kill Tomer. No, I can't kill Tomer. I wish I could kill Tomer. Ew. Mm. <laughs> Has a second mode <laughs> with two counters on each permanent control. Yeah, your board's big. It's Yo. big. All right, like so you should have shot down that Arketra's monument top. before he made all these one ones. No, I would have yeah. just in response. I would part of his combo as well. <laughs> one, two. All right, so we're going to play. I also have. I want to see Seth win with a fog here. <laughs> I need a way to fog, and then you all die to Karvik justice. <laughs> yeah, Karvik. I, I found a way to fog my Urborg, which is good. Okay, you fog these creatures coming in every turn. Yeah, the creatures. That's a that's another story. So this is actually a deck where the oh, wander is wow. actually kind nice. of sweet. Nice. Oh, you can kill. Uh, you can kill Niv Mizzet. Oh, you I can. can. So I can like. You can uh, kill what? Oh, you could kill I, like Sensei Golden Tail. <laughs> I don't know how I get out of this. So, like, how do I not die to Tomer though? That's the thing. Hope Phil kills him. <laughs> true. Hmm. But then you're also mm. dead to Phil. <laughs> That's true. Phil has, doesn't doesn't yeah. Phil have equal amount of creatures? No. How many cards does Phil amount. have in hand? Ten. Oh God! We also cards. know most of the mana. cards. I mean, yeah, I don't think it really matters. We also know most it. of the cards, like Balefire Liege. Is it gonna looks so. You. It's like you've played a cube and you just let the auto picker choose. Yeah. <laughs> like it's just. I'm trying to find some. Yeah. Cool play lines here, but it's just random multi. I like yeah. it. Yeah. Your mana is so jank. Can't even cast Balefire Liege and like do. Yeah, stuff. Balefire Liege would just like murder. Wait, is it even cast? Yeah, I, I can't. It's uncastable for you. Yeah. You can't cast, cast it. it. Yeah, I should have oh, tuned well, it up it's a white shockland, but I didn't want to shock myself. You should have mm. done this though. All right, else. Phil, Phil, I have I have a deal for you. I can kill you here, but what if instead we team up and kill Tomber and don't kill each other this turn cycle? How do you mm. feel about that that possibility? Or well, I can just kill you. I mean, and if then die the to Tomer. alternative is killing me, I guess. <laughs> I, don't next I mean, you time. can <laughs> you can try to kill me. Yeah, I can only try, try to kill you. I am you. fully untapped. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's all true. four lands ready to go. <laughs> no, I have more than four mana up. I mean, oh boy, my karma. Though. Okay, so uh, what do you think of that deal, Phil? Worth I'm it? Sure, I'm not going to attack you next all time. Right. All right, so let's not kill each other this turn, and I'm going to see if I can stop Tomer. So we're going to snipe Conda. Mm hmm. Resolves. Yeah, that was too too powerful. <laughs> holding the, holding the dissolve, we don't need that. <laughs> we don't need and that. Then we're gonna. Uh... You have to admit, if you try to kill me, though, that mono white samurai were too too powerful for you. <laughs> I mean, this was I I I can't believe how good the deck actually worked, honestly, because I think of samurai as like one of the jankiest tribes. So this was actually very impressive, I will say. Uh, nine. Just a comma, just a comma. Wow. No big deal. Wow, getting away with it. Wait, yeah. What's that nine on him already? Yeah, is it a comma already? It yeah. is a comma. Already. It's probably is a comma. Yeah, I've got one of these too. <laughs> the comma casually oh. dealt 27 to the table. Mm -hmm. Oh, you have well, a pump on Zakama. There's a land what? that just pumps, double pumps. I think I might be dying because of this, but... Uh, <laughs> Yeah. We gotta we gotta take the chance now that we have it. We're gonna play some uh some modern amulet titan here for the moment. Oh do you have the Gary? Oh, oh the we're gonna snag a oh, sun home. Shit. Yeah, that gets me. <laughs> and uh <laughs> what did you, wait, but you you just die, right? <laughs> oh my god. I mean wait, Phil, you just want to thing it, make Phil? He, wait, what what happened? No, person. I didn't want to I honestly expected you would block. <laughs> well, you had trample. Then I would have been dead Wait, to, to, to Phil anyway. 
Oh yeah, Phil. I mean, I Phil. That's how you wouldn't yeah. attack me this oh time. Really I don't know how, about that deal. Uh, <laughs> it was a it, very but... straightforward deal, but the situation <laughs> has changed. Wow. You get to draw. Yeah. draw Phil. Me. Phil gets to make the mm. decision. Mm. But if he honors the deal, he just dies, right? Whoa. Uh, because because he takes seven from the karma. <laughs> karma. Oh, the, yeah, karma. the next story, he just takes seven again, right? <laughs> yeah. So he has to not honor Well, he has to have a distance I'm gonna, chance. I'm going to make a, a smarter wow. scummy about this, no matter how it turns out. That would be a good <laughs> short. Seth, Seth, like, just maneuver. Oh, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> what the heck? I do have... This Richard, oh, can you give me? Oh, can you give the, the politics badge? Oh wow, yeah, that's oh, him. yeah, that changes I, it. Did you did you have that in your? No, you didn't reveal that. So you had it no. elsewhere. You did it. You did it. Okay, yeah, you so did it. How has gone? He lived. ETB now Phil's probably destroy. good. Put, no, destroy target artifact. You could blow up the Sylvan Library. Gain four. Yeah, maybe you're only at five. Well, well, I mean, <laughs> Seth could battle again, recovery. <laughs> Attack or something. I mean, yeah, oh, there's still so Night of the White Orchid on the battlefield too, so there might be like a glacial. Oh gosh, glacial chasm would kill him as well. <laughs> okay, and then I maze of it. Um, yeah, this is so close. <laughs> that was really good, Seth. Do you? you uh, almost thank maneuvered you. I politicked it. I don't know. I totally yeah. just didn't block. <laughs> I was I was thinking you might just like jump block, has, but the trample the makes trample. it hard to jump yeah, block. Yeah, yeah. you can just. Triple okay, block, so right? and, I, I, well, and I you were thinking of and then I died to Phil. Yeah, yeah, because so you wanted to save your creatures because you could yeah. chump block uh, or actually trade with yeah, Phil's yeah, yeah. creatures. That makes yeah, sense. That makes sense. so it would have saved me more life in the long run. Yeah, I think it was a, actually the correct thing. I was a little worried that you might block, but I think it was you did it the right way. It's hard to predict Sunholm. <laughs> if you didn't have trample, I would have chump <laughs> Yeah. Ooh, but now the karma's gone. Damn, I mean, this is basically it. Yeah. Phil's got all the cards. But, like, yeah, there's no way you would have like... that he had a disenchant, though. He did draw a lot of cards. Yeah, but... that's true. And we didn't see the disenchant out of the pile from Niv, yeah. so he drew it naturally. Sig's been like an MVP this game. Phil's man yeah, Sig has drawn so, so many cards. Uh, probably <laughs> more than Niv is it. <laughs> I can't believe that Phil's deck might... is probably favored to win this. The Yumori five-color all the Legis deck is actually... <laughs> And then you just actually play a really bunch of creatures anyway. and attack, and you win. Like how Richard Garfield intended. <laughs> what do you Remember mean? Remember the attack and win? What? I mean, like even even magic? Phil, even Phil at the beginning of the episode was wondering if his deck was even functional, and now here it is at the yeah. at the yeah. end yeah. of the yeah. game, yeah. standing tall. Yeah. Yeah. It has it's a bar kind of on how functional it is, though, right? I guess that's true. Like he used to do visit cards. Yeah. Right. Like. I mean, but he. Yeah, because Sig was really good here. The game will end. Okay, this this came off to visit though. Yeah, there it is. Holy Oracle revealing Talarian Sentinel. <laughs> sure. What? Oh, what? It's not even multicolor. Spare Return tape. target permanent. <laughs> Why is this here? I, yeah, that's a bunch of spells. I guess to bounce your thing. Niv. I interaction. That's way better. Yeah, maybe it returns to Niv. Hmm, sure. No, it's something <laughs> he controls. So he, it's the bounce. This card, a card, return target permanent. You control to Tony. Yeah, return yeah, it's Niv. It's got to be bounce Niv. niv. I mean, I mean yeah, there's a lot of ETBs. ETB creatures Hostage. as well. Night of the White, yeah. Night of the uh, Night of Autumn, Autumn Caustic Seeker. Well. Mm-hmm. You can yeah. discard a card, pay one is, mana. Is Phil and cast deals, that why he's casting all the stuff. He's gonna yeah, I mean, I mean, I think I can't so. really. I can't even chip in. It's just, <laughs> just gotta survive this turn, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's, it all comes down I, I to this. I see the Balagan recovery. Seth so sees three cards. So. I do get to see cards. I can't see draw more than right, one, right? but... No, no, he shuffled. Well, you get no, to no, no, three before new. Sylvan Library triggers. Yeah, I feel like I need my Zakama for other other things. So we're going to start oh, by shooting down... I guess a Sig. Sig did it. Yeah, that's <laughs> <so much. laughs> I drew like 10 cards. The amount of respect. Uh, all right. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. Show us something good. Battle get recovery would be pretty funny. That would be my ideal win if we could somehow It'd get the karma back. But <laughs> yeah. get MDFCs. <laughs> what does oh. that do? If you have a bounce land, you Not can deny a reliquary. <laughs> All right, we get to see two more. The first one doesn't do anything. <laughs> I mean, worst case, uh, you could just take eight and go out on your own terms. 
<laughs> he has a blast. Can you? It's oh yeah, it's not pay. It's oh, it's battery. pay. No, if you can, I mean, he has blast yeah. like in his graveyard. If he had any graveyard recursion, you'd be but like fine, any but... damage board wipe is a one sided wipe. Of wandering. Yeah. Right? Ugh. One yeah. Sided... Or he I could mean, also maybe just ramp eight lands attack. and have enough chump blockers. Is yeah. there any way I can stay alive? Uh, Phil's board's so big, and I'm at one. I don't think so. so big and random. It just looks you so You took weird. out the mono white samurai, Seth. Uh, all right, so we put this on top. Put this on top. Oh, I don't think I can do it. All right, so we play Scavenger Grounds. Not that it does anything. Could not Ooh, find the Balgate Recovery. I mean, it makes a zombie. That's something. Mm hmm. Well, you could have Thespian staged your pillow then. Oh, that's true. That could have been worth zombies. considering. Well, we'll wander the Niv. Wander was actually pretty relevant here. I don't think there's any way I can lethal fill here, though. All right, go to combat. Attack with Zakama. At your face? Yeah, this is rough with double strike. I, I mean, yeah. it's <laughs> oh, 18 damage. Actually, at least 18 damage. It's actually like more like more like 21 damage. Actually, more I than mean, that. Seth actually comma. might have it here. Yeah. So, so how much damage? Yeah, are, I have to block these training be. soldiers. Yeah, these training right? soldiers so are four fours. Oh. Um. Like, if I take 12 commander damage, I die. So I have to throw. But you have to block. And like, you have to throw enough like session, you live through a double strike, in which case your half your board goes. And the Knight of the White Orchid, too. And he can, too. like, or not drain Knight of things. White Orchid. Like, he can power down your creatures, too. <laughs> you have to block with everything, I think. I think I have to block with at Oh, least wow, and then you won't even have enough to, to crack back. Yeah. Seth might have this. I think Seth has it. I, I mean, Phil I... gets a new board again, though, right? Yeah. Actually, Phil's only at five. How do you? Oh, the karma. How do you get yeah, some? Yeah, the karma <laughs> did some work. If I do it like this, it. you can. Do, wow, I really have to block with a lot. The whole team. Yeah. The whole team. And then Seth gives it death touch. <laughs> oh, I wish. <laughs> I don't think I have a death touch land. Oh, that would be Let's pretty just go good. Let's team on this. Whoa! Right, so everything Ooh. blocks. That has to be correct, right? I mean, you can oh shoot. boy! Now we gotta think. Yeah, One, think, oh wow, this is two, three, four, this five. Is actual it's combat happening with commander clash. Yeah. What do you mean? We Involving always have combat. Me and Seth. That, that involves, involves Seth. blocking and interaction. No, it's usually one-sided combat where someone just gets destroyed. Right? Yeah. Did you not see the? Did you not see the power of the mono white samurai? All right. Yeah, oh, they Mike. kept attacking me, and I had no blockers. There was no interaction. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we normally use cycle mod blocks and stuff. One, yeah. two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. four. All right, can Seth do this right, combat one, two, correctly? Three. One, two, yeah, that's a question. One, two, three, <laughs> two, three, four. Wow, this might exactly, exactly work. We'll see. All right, so. So that, wait, this Lee's just pumping what? Green and red. Oh, the first strike kills the Lee's too. Woo! Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> so that goes that goes there. So that's gonna make those smaller. Oh my brain hurts. This is way too much math. <laughs> um Okay, I think we just do it like this. And yes. then and then what we do, let's see if we can do this correctly. So let's let me double check. One, so we need one, two, three, four. Five, six, and then one, two, three, four, tap. Oh, hmm. All right, well, uh, oh, is there really no way to do this? Hmm. Those goes that, those get smaller. <laughs> we need to see the chart of Seth's expected math and what actually happens. <laughs> yeah, I know. Seriously. <laughs> math okay, is for one, blockers. Two, three. Just kill it, right? One, two, three. That's how I do it. One, two, three, four. Never backfired. And then... Probably we can't see how he's lined up the blockers, right? Uh, it looks like he put the liege first and then the hostage taker. 
Yeah, yeah Leash House should take oh, yours. Oh, this order. is yeah, the ordering. Yeah, this is the ordering. Wait, yeah. This is interesting ordering. Yeah. This is super hard. Okay, one, two. It doesn't one, two, matter three. that much. I mean, it matters for Baleful uh, Strix's death touch. Yeah, Baleful Strix has death touch. Yeah, but yeah. But maybe I mean, we're either really winning care or about losing. recasting Zakama. We're either winning or losing right here, I think. Um, so, Zakama might kill actually him? Ne- <laughs> Wait, I didn't expect this to happen. <laughs> yeah, you Oh, yeah, that's, that's the goal, is to try to win. He's literally going to uh, kill so, him through oh, this? Yeah, wow. Okay. I mean... I thought you were just going to annihilate his board and then just untap and kill him. <laughs> hmm. I think so he just think needs gotta, okay. five damage. Oh, wait, so. Yeah, but if he was going to die, you should have just attacked with everything else, no? <laughs> Wouldn't that extra die? That is power? absolutely Yeah, correct. I should have. Well, oh I need God, the I need yeah. the Knight of the Relic. You got to play around the I should have attacked. I should attack with the zombie. <laughs> so what we do is. The only frog would, shot, well, a frog would be a spore frog, right? In this. With yeah. my companion. Companion, which we, is still in my companion zone. A good <laughs> fog would be in this situation. Oh, players. fog would be game winning. All right, or so we're going to double strike the comma. And then we're going to sack a planes. What? To get uh, more <laughs> more amulet type stuff. Just, actually, is this commander type. Uh, we're gonna oh get Slayer God. Stronghold. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> Slayer Stronghold <laughs> is going to do a little bit more pumping. Uh, plus two, plus zero on Zakama. Oh, is this enough? So that gets it to 11 power. Then we, let's see, let's let First Strike resolve. <laughs> oh, because then you can shoot some blockers still. Yeah, to this should work, trample. yeah. Yeah. So first strike wipes out the leash and some other stuff, and then we can oh, shoot. Yes. We can shoot one of the training soldiers. Oh, so four, five, three, six. four, five, oh, six. Yeah. yeah, I just need five. This damage, should be so like exacties ish. <laughs> wow. Fog? Oh, okay, we figured it out. Fog. <laughs> wow, so it's, it's exactly. Shares? It's exactly so five. Cloud shares. Uh, no. Oh. Oh, exactly. we found the line. Exactly. <laughs> wow. Didn't even exactly. need that zombie. Yeah. That zombie was just spectating. That was called the flash. Wow. The zombie we flex. got there. <laughs> <laughs> that was a close game. Yeah. Yeah. So what did this so have to do? Why is Phil still alive? <laughs> oh, game ended. No, he just wow. kind of did what he wanted to do, right? He was a book. He got karma. Out. I mean, the, I I got the Urborg a lot later than I wanted. So so the deck, you got to see what it wanted to do. Like you mm-hmm. got to see the Urborg, you got to see the karma, you got to see the angry mob. There's also just some even weirder payoffs that I was surprised were on Magic Online. Like Nature's Wrath, six mana green enchantment. You got to pay a green on your upkeep or you keep it, or you uh, have to sack it. And it says whenever a player plays a swamp or a black permanent, they have to sacrifice a swamp or a black permanent. <laughs> So, like, that's another one. Royal Decree is a four mana cumulative upkeep, one white enchantment. Whenever a swamp, mountain, or black permanent or red permanent becomes tapped, deal one damage to that permanent's controller. So, there's a bunch of these just really weird card uh, roots of life, three mana green enchantment. When it comes into play, choose island or swamp. When a land of that type is chosen, you get to gain one life. So, there's all these weird payoffs for giving your opponent swamps. The problem we had this game is we didn't find the Urborg until turn nine, which I think was like kind of just unlucky because the deck does have have a ton of ways to find if there's any card that can tutor out a non-basic land uh, like hour of promise or peers whim any of those type of cards that's in the deck uh, expedition maps in the deck so we kind of were a little unlucky to find it so late but it still did enough i guess even though we found it really late in the game where it chipped away a little bit at people's life total and then it was enough that zakama could finish it off yeah, it looked like mission accomplished there. You found Zakama it. Zakama did you 50 had... damage, Seth. <laughs> yeah, Zakama, Zakama did, did do really well. Double strike over for 30 <laughs> commander damage. Nobody could find an answer. Oh. I'm also like kind of amazed I got out of that situation at the end where I think <laughs> the deal really, yeah, well really, really saved me how that, uh, how that worked out with being able to kill Tomer and get Phil not to kill me for a turn. How does Seth keep getting away with it? That's <laughs> not- <laughs> I'm turning into Richard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Uh, Richard, we got to see a little bit of Orvar, but we didn't get to see the burn plan at all. So tell us about the burn plan. All right. So so the deck plays like 
black vice type cards, ebony owl. So basically cards that like if you have too many cards in hand, you take damage. Okay. Uh, and the plan was you use Orvar to keep duplicating these. So you can stack up like a bunch of them. And then we draw everyone a lot of cards. Uh, like, <laughs> wow, you were uh, so far off. <laughs> like, what are these cards? Like prosperity. Each player draws X cards. Right. right. So you just fill everyone's hand. And then we also have like Howling Mind, like literal Howling Mind, Force Fruition, things like that. <laughs> to fill everyone's hand. And then during your upkeep, you just take like 50 damage and then you die. Maybe and you then, should have played these. We like, didn't see any Howling of Mind. Of <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because there there's an Orvar sub theme, which I like I said, like Yeah, Orvar is like, I can Orvar understand, right? Like this, the, yeah. the, the Orvar helps you get mana to do the, the prosperity for big. It helps you copy your um you know your howling mines or your ebony owl nets case and things like that, right? But yeah, uh, it draws so much hate. I didn't understand how strong of a commander Orvar is. Uh, oh, you yeah. just draw so much hate, and then because the combo requires so many pieces, you don't have as much interaction. So there's not that much interaction in the deck, and then all your creatures are kind of weak sauce blockers. Uh, but that's the thing, and there's some cool, uh, there's some cool things like you can actually. So there's the the Orvar Infinite in there with um, Paragon Drake, and mm. then you can like copy Sunscorch Desert a bunch of times to like bring people to death as well. <laughs> and then that's just an Orvar deck. Yeah, that's, that's just an Orvar deck. Right? <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, I think it's a pretty sweet. It's not actually playing a Psionic Blast, I don't think. Uh, but basically, I just draw everyone cards, and then you die to to ice type cards. So I think it's a very sweet deck. Uh, I'll bring it back for Revenge Week or something. I really like this concept, but maybe I'll tweak it a bit to be more Richard friendly. It, like I knew Seth was going to win the game, but the problem yeah. is I have no board or I have nothing to do, right? So I can't yeah. do anything. So while you guys argue amongst yourselves, I'm like, I don't want to guess, right? Like, <laughs> you have no initiative to correct the situation at the table. So I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to get punched to death and then call it a day. Uh, and I had a lot of counter spells, which I could right. actually protect it, Seth, if I wanted to. <laughs> Ooh. But like that's all I could do, right? I couldn't really do do much. Uh, we need more. We need more blockers uh, to to get down. Or like propaganda effects. I, yeah, I mean like Zakama shuts that. Like Zakama shuts down literally everything, right? Any yeah, creature, yeah. artifact, enchantment thing, <laughs> yeah. Zakama will shut down, right? And nobody and had a single removal. Stayed spell. out all game. Nobody found all it. Game. The answer was to kill <laughs> Seth. But everyone, like everyone, underestimates these expensive commanders, right? Just like Seth was like, I don't care about your one ones. I'm like, you're at eight life. I'm gonna come in <laughs> yeah. and kill you <laughs> because normally yeah. they're weak, but in the specific board state, they're actually very strong. Yeah. Once the comma untaps, it um, was it was it just like I didn't have any creatures. I had like yeah. Ao, but Ao was being blocked by Reach. I only had a board state at the end where I flash everything, and then I could actually attack Seth. So until that point, I, I had no I had no outs to chip at him. I feel like yeah. your deck though, Richard, if you just re replace it with Kami of the Crescent Moon, the group the the Howling Mine Blue, nobody would attack you. You'd been like, would have been. Uh, it's been a still because really, you're playing Howling Mine still. You're still gonna die to yeah. everyone just dumping their board <laughs> onto yeah, the yeah. table. Like it's actually kind of tricky to to do this. But I think it's yeah. a pretty interesting concept of how do you do blue, uh, burn the blue way. So yeah. I think. I think we can work on it some more, but I really like I really love this idea. And yeah, that's what you sweet. mean. Yeah. All right, Phil. We got to see we got to see the the strategy in action. I think um, it, it worked better than I expected. Um, yeah. So the reason I picked this deck is I I often play against Niv Mizzet in Historic Brawl, and it always seems insanely strong. You just play random good cards, and then refill your hand and i thought the restriction of having the omori as a companion makes it interesting so it's like not that threatening and also you play cards that you never play all the leashes like it wasn't strong but it did something it was quite fun double actually. masters was made for this deck <laughs> yeah <laughs> it really was yeah <laughs> the only thing i don't get is these spell shifters like i would probably yeah, there's a lot of discard card. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe there was a primer that I was there. A primer? Oh well, <laughs> excuse me. I think the self bounce that. is probably it good because be. you had a bunch of ETB creatures. Yeah, so what yeah, I the would do didn't is seem bad. probably include creatures like wood elves or something to mana fix. There's a um, obviously it's a cruel tribe elder, but 
I mean, I would pretty much say this about any deck that is sent in this. In these, just add more ramp, more lands. The early turns is where you can just build up before getting killed, and afterwards you have to be as powerful as you can. So, get mm -hmm. some ram in these decks. Falling for Seth's tricks. I did like <laughs> Seth I did, is the anti like the twenty twenty two meta. The more <laughs> lands you have, the more damage you take. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I got around that pretty well. <laughs> My deck. <laughs> My karma was not <laughs> bothering me that much. Overplayed a great game for having four lands. So how did he? Yeah. <laughs> how did you? How did you get by with having four lands, Tober? So the deck. Is yeah, really what's sweet. the combo? Okay, so you saw part one of the combo, which you need Kentaru on the battlefield, and then you have a bunch of mana discount abilities, and all the mana discounts are reducing it by colorless mana, and Kentaru gets around the uh, white mana re uh, requirement for your your samurai creatures. So with Kentaro on the battlefield and mana reduction, you can cast your samurais for free. And I actually got to show that uh, on, at the end of the game. Now, the way you combo with that is you have you need a way to cast your samurais infinite times. One way is Cloudstone Curio. So you cast a samurai, you return a samurai back to your hand. You can just start casting them for free and, and looping it uh, infinite times. Or you can go for Enduring Renewal, which says if you ever if a creature ever dies, uh, you can just put it back to your hand. Um, so you have sack outlets like uh, Altar of Dementia to infinite mill your opponents with uh, with injuring renewal and and uh, free samurai. Or if you're doing the clouds from Curio loop, you have stuff like Aether Flux Reservoir to end the game. So it's essentially a mono white samurai storm deck where you're just casting infinite samurais to win the game at the end. But it also has a primary win condition of just killing you of combat damage, as I was showing. I just played a bunch of Samurai, pumped up my Samurai with stuff like Cathar's Crusade or AO and stuff, and you can win that way as well. Um, the deck is really well constructed, I would say. Uh, it is, it is, Jade has a paper version of the deck, and he played against, I played against it um, on the Commander Quickie, and he actually got to pull it off. Um, and I was really impressed by it. I wanted to play it, and I, I saw it in the viewer submitted list, and so I snapped it up because it, it was it was a ton of fun. So thank you so much, Jade, for for the submission. Um, I really like it. I, I think it's it's really cool that you have just like a unique combo deck in mono white and a samurai tribal of all things. So yeah, yeah I like that's a I really like it a sweet lot. idea. Yeah, yeah, it's super cool. I like it too. Yeah, it didn't combo off, but it still got to do some cool things. So I was really happy with how it how it turned out. But yeah. Um, all right. Well, that's going to be it, everybody, for this Commander Clash. We are going to be announcing something special. Uh, it's going to be the end of the season. Uh, we're not. I'm not going to give away what the the season finale is going to be. But as usual, you know, we usually uh, end the season by swapping out the the, the roster. And and spicing it up a little bit, so there's going to be a special uh, special episode as we usually do to end the the season. And uh, stay tuned uh, for that. That'll be super fun. And then yeah, we're gonna have a new season. We're gonna have a, a new person joining us uh, for for season thirteen. And, and yeah, buy our playmats, like and subscribe, and all that good stuff. And until next time, friends. See ya. <laughs>